them for all salon people and then party them. There at the media will be bringing you a variety of programs ranging from documentaries to discussions, interviews, news, views, sports and entertainment. Our programs will contain matters on development, governance, the economy and issues that are of importance to Sierra Leone. So, no left BNO because we get Bebe Bebe program then like Salon Discussion, Meets the Ministers, the President's Hour and the Gladi Gladi program, Look Me, I Look You. All this, they start soon now www.sarajemmedia.org. Now who's term this? talk about burning issues ranging from politics to the economy, culture to sport, education to entertainment, corruption to the environment, we realize the Sierra Leone story is far from finished. So, Sierra Jam Media Production brings you Zoom. Zooming in is the program that engages everyday people, entrepreneurs, inventors, entertainers, activists, policymakers, and politicians to discuss and debate issues relating to Sierra Leone. Zooming in digs deep into the issues and stories. Zooming in ensures the debate is pushed to another level. Zooming in asks those questions that has never been asked before. So, join us host Chumaba. young a lot of things were different unfortunately most of the difference in seen now are heartbreaking and are not good at all before now men were strong protectors of the weak fathers brothers lovers sons their mere presence guaranteed the safety of women and children but what do we do now men harassing and raping women men sexually abuse little girls men battering and killing their wives any form of sexual assault be it rape sexual abuse or pedophilia is a killer to human self-esteem women should stop dying in silence speak now the rapist should be stigmatized not the victim i think death sentence should be the consequence of such terrible act and you mothers build confidence in your children put trust in them listen to them when they make reports and take necessary actions talking of mothers before now women were virtuous they were mothers daughters and sisters nurturing counseling supporting their men folks but now women are trafficking female children for money women are forced to be silent all this must stop and it must stop now real men do not abuse rape or molest women and children it is barbaric unacceptable let all real men stand with us together let's say an emphatic no to rape sexual abuse pedophilia and domestic violence All the crimes committed against a person, rape is the one that leaves the person feeling very violated. A rape victim is often left with the feeling that a part of them has been torn apart. To use another person's body and ignore the souls that resides within is one of the most outstandingly shocking crimes that one person can commit against another. 
Some men harass and rape their women. Some men sexually abuse underage girls. Some men beat and kill their wives. Any form of sexual assault is unacceptable. There must be consent before you act. Being in a relationship is not consent. If they are not sober, they can't consent. Flatting is not a consent. We had sex before is not consent. Silence is not consent. Only an informed, sober, freely given, ongoing and enthusiastic yes is consent. Women should stop dying in silence. A man does not become a real man by physically dominating a woman. A man becomes a real man by loving, protecting and respecting the woman. Real men do not rape or abuse women and children. Let all real men stand with us. And together, let's say no to child abuse, no to domestic violence, no to all forms of rape. Being it spousal rape, intimate partner rape, child sex abuse, statutory rape, date rape, serial rape, and gang rape. We must rise up against this ugly trend. Justice for one, justice for all. All, all sexual, sexual assault must stop, stop. and it must stop, stop now. I was raped multiple times by my aunt's boyfriend when I was six. I was repeatedly raped at the age of eight by a close family member. I was raped at 19. I didn't speak openly about it because I was ashamed and afraid that people would judge me. I was raped at age five by my caregiver's husband. On June 17, 2020, five-year-old Khadija Sako, a beautiful little girl from Freetown, Sierra Leone, was repeatedly raped and strangled to death, allegedly by her own cousin. Her death shocked the nation. But in truth, in this small West African country, nine out of 10 girls experience some form of sexual violence in their lifetime. Think about that for a second. Nine out of 10, that's 90%. My name is Aisha Sasei. I'm a journalist and activist. I'm joining forces with Idris Elba and other activists from across Sierra Leone to support the survivors of sexual violence with the Survivors Solidarity Fund. Please consider donating whatever you can afford. All monies raised will go to four local organizations currently providing free medical and legal services to survivors. Five-year-old Khadija lost her life to sexual violence. That same threat remains for millions of others. So this is also a call for you to use your voice, your power to draw attention to an enduring culture of rape. Together, we must end it now. My name is Aisha Sasei. I am Khadija Sako. 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 We are Khadija Sako. We are all Khadija Sako. Hello, my name is Josephine Kamara. I'm the founder of You Can Do It Foundation. You Can Do It Foundation is a charitable organization based in Sierra Leone, West Africa. You Can Do It Foundation has been in existence for the past two years. We have been fighting gender-based violence against women and girls within the community. During the past two years, we have been offering psychosocial support, counseling, court fee, medical fee, including school items to the survivors of gender-based violence. However, during the lockdown of COVID-19, report received and confirmed that rape cases among a minor has increased tremendously within our community. Because of this, You Can Do It Foundation has secured the land to build an accommodation for the survivors of rape. 
However, this may almost become impossible without your generous support. We need your help to build this home for the survivors. Your help could be in cash or in kind. If you wish to join us to make a difference in a child's life, please go to our website, which is www.youcandoitcyf.org or you can go to our GoFundMe page, which is Home of Hope for the Survivors of Gender Base. Or you can contact us with the details at the end of this video. We thank you greatly for your generous support and thank you once more for making a difference in a child's life. Hello, hello, good afternoon, good evening, good morning, and good night, depending on whose part the world you find yourself right now. We say welcome to CRJ Media Production. Today, December 23rd, it's Wednesday, the big debate. Um, fast approaching Christmas. We want to say Merry Christmas to you all, and uh, we wish you and your family safe, healthy, and hope say when I go stay safe and observe all COVID rules because we know for say right now, um, you know, the COVID pandemic is still going on. It's ravaging communities, neighborhoods, countries, and people are way close to it. So let's treat it very seriously and act responsibly and celebrate responsibly. Me and Ajuma Ba, una moderator for today, and I get me come moderator now. So say hello to Fambulem. Tell the greedy taste what we can say Tibo is here to family. Yeah. Hello viewers. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, Tibo, I greet your uncle. <laughs> well, you don't say hello to your uncle. <laughs> uncle Pisha, how did you say? <laughs> um, hello people. Hello, hello, hi. How are you? How are you doing? Hope you guys have a good day. Like we Juma say earlier on, COVID is around the corner. Keep it safe, maintain social distance and stay focused. F O C S stay focused. No. Because the atmosphere is deadly right now, so you don't know what's happening. So keep focus and maintain social distance. COVID is real. Back wow. to you, Juma. Thank you so much, uh, T Boy. And we will say, Le Femi Insef, say, Oba Femi Pama, Yusef Dede. Um, you know, say, Tell Fambule, do you tell your auntie there? Do you don't tell your auntie there, do Femi? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they are you loud and clear. Whoever be the Sabotage you, tell them, say, you they how do they call the place? So I go, oh, my, 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 oh, my, you go join my, my, you don't, you don't, you don't, you don't join them. Yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you for joining us, ladies and gentlemen. We hope to enjoy with you today. We get plenty, plenty, plenty. You are. Right. And that is completely real, and that's the message. We no want to let anybody they six foot under. We rather you they six foot, twelve foot apart, or even you know, you they remote remotely apart. Do things on your phone with family, friends, celebrate with them via Zoom. Um, a lot of a lot of other software and the way you use for relates and still live long for see them next year and we all smile again together. So let's act responsibly. Again, me uh, moderator today na Juma Ba with topic una don Siam. Um Sierra Leone. We have to discuss Sierra Leone. Everything relating to Sierra Leone, we have to discuss because we're not going for which state team well pata pata or we say we are not did they know to be problem led and try they no way. Either it affects we directly or indirectly. And these issues are issues of national concerns. Um, we have to be part of that conversation. And that's how we'll influence change and development in our country. So our conversation today is focused on 
the 2019 audit report and corruption in Sierra Leone. We left it that, you know, vague, well, narrowed down to the 2019 audit report because it highlighted a lot of issues, but we want to foresee, we want to discuss corruption, you know, corruption patterns within the states, how the states, they, you know, involve in corruption, because we think, see, this audit report don't point to now the directions, the directions and we are in, um, you know, the direction that we, we feel so good for begin look for see if we go able for tap corruption as alone because it they hinder we progress. If you guys can remember, a um, couple of um, weeks ago, we had our, one of our regular here, Mr. Cherno Alpha Mba, who is the editor for the Africanist newspaper. He's an investigative journalist. He's a Sierra Leonean. Um, he's a man that is concerned to expose the ills in society and push those people who are responsible, um, who are actually supposed to be man in our state to act right by the 7 million Sierra Leoneans. So we have so much respect for him. He talked about a lot of issues um, relating or whistleblowing, you know, corruption and corrupt practices in, and patterns of corruption in Sierra Leone. Now the audit report is here. We want to have a conversation with him today to tell us um, if some of the things that he highlighted before, whether they've proved him wrong or proved him right. So Mr. Cherno Alpha Emba, welcome to CRJ Media one more time to, uh, again, before the end of the year. Thank you very much, um, Juma, and thank you, everybody. Um, it was good for there, you know. Thank you. All right, we're glad to forget you. So let's go straight to the program. I know say, um, I think before we go straight, I don't know if Femi one come on again. Some people complain, say they're not hearing a message where he say, and that message is very important. So Femi, say hello to Fambule one more time and share your Christmas wish and Christmas message, then we will go straight to the program. Okay, thanks, Juma. Can you hear me? I hope so you hear me. It's now we know they hear you fine. They don't grip your voice back. Ladies and gentlemen, to the show, um, we get for stay safe, as uh, my colleague did not say. In this, three we still can't hear you, sir. I want you now one message from me. So, Una, we will, go, we will ask Boris Johnson and Donald Trump for accident statement. Una, if you not stay six foot apart, you go stay six foot under. So, dear, dear, Una, let stay safe, especially for this bloody glad this season will be part. All right. Well, uh, for the benefit of the possibly the one that we know here, Femi, they say he want for spe send specific message to we all, and more so President Donald Trump and Prime Minister Boris Johnson, you know, for select and continue for tell them people say, if you not stay six foot apart, you will stay six foot under. All right. Thank you so much, Femi. Mr. Ba, um, in 2019, audit report is out and um, you've talked about this for months and months and months referencing you know that document to say you had some insights into what's you know why they where they, why there was a delay in releasing that report what's your first impression well um, honestly I'm not surprised with the um, the report because uh, we've been already, as, as we've been informed, Sierra Leoneans, we had an advanced copy of the audit report. And, and before, be, even before we get the advanced copy of the audit report, if, if people don't remember very well, on the 1st of March um, 2020, the Africanist Press published the first article to say we highlight um, issues relating to the bloated wage bill of the BO government. And we say categorically in that um, uh, article, we are the first in, in the corruption series on Sierra Leone that um, Mother Bio's administration has inflated the wage bill, you know, beyond 25 to 45 percent from Musai and Eskoma in administration Bilefa. 
And we say one of the reasons for that are because the administration, the Bureau administration, don't graft on the public payroll uh, hundreds of uh, political appointees where they pay exorbitant salaries. We highlight even, we publish evidence of individuals, political party members of the SLPP who are appointed as contractors and consultants who are receiving salaries, you know, between 300 to $500 daily. We even published the salary of the financial secretary with it to the tune of um, uh, 90 million. In fact, since we published in March, which we latest findings, we don't find out, say, sir, just so in fact, the salary don't, it don't increase on to nearly 100 million now a month. So um, these, these two, we, I mean, the beginning of the effort for expose the fiscal indiscipline of the Mother Bureau administration will be things say, contrary to the public rhetoric, the pretense on the part of the administration that then, then they head towards a new direction in the try for curb down leakages, in the try for close leakages, in the try for minimize corruption, in the fight corruption. So the African Express in publication only just came out suddenly. We did a six month of investigation on Sierra Leone leading up to towards the end of 2019, leading up to 2020. And then with the beginning of 2020, we published the first article on March 1. The second article we published on the, on the 7th of March. We say we talk about, um, we, we give evidence of these salaries, including the president's nutritionist, uh, the cook, what people call the cook of the president, they receive over uh, 20 million, 21 million, way more than the salary of a university, senior, senior lecturer at the University of Sierra Leone. So we, when we aggregate all them here, we find out, say, um, there is a huge uh, mismanagement of public resources and one aspect. Then we also highlight, say, in fact, the office of the first, there are institutions, the, the unauthorized use of public money. We also will not talk about that. On March 15, the African Express published this article, me and my colleagues, and what we do, myself, and Matthew Anderson and Mark Feldman decide, say, um, we publish this article so we show evidence of uh, the first lady receiving um, over 15 billion leons you understand, for the first uh, three months of the, you know, beginning with the launch of the, of, of the first Hands of My Girls campaign to the printing of billboards and all that here. So this, we, we, we show this documentary evidence of this pervasive corruption, uh, increase in wage bill and frivolous uh, spending. We also highlight the fact that the president don't spend uh, more than any other president in international travel, will not yield anything significant to the country. We don't highlight all these and we also show evidence of how party people also use public money to organize the thank you tour of Mada Bio, um, Nabo. You know, in fact, that event was, was an Oba event. So we don't, de so for the African Express, this was not a surprise to us. In fact, some of the information where we get on the Mada Bio administration, we don't publish and discuss. Some of them not even make them into the 2019 uh, audit. But we understand why, because it's, it's difficult to capture the entire financial operation of the, of a government in a single document like that. But, right. but the key questions where the, where the audit report raise, what we need to take into consideration, um, and for read this along with the promises of the Madabio administration, the New Direction Manifesto, Madabio's administration, the SLPP campaign, said that they move the country into, towards a new direction, that they will cut down uh, public spending, they will um, uh, fight corruption, they will even uh, stop people from organizing events in hotels, and, and then limit and pass a range of executive orders, so then limit uh, uh, travel and all of them. None of this. We read the report. The report is, is directly in opposite to the promises and pledges and the public statements of the president. And that's what we know. The audit report, whether then they talk about uh, 2015 day inside, 2016 day inside, what we have to know is that this, pub, this audit report now a direct verdict against the SLPP's new direction manifesto that election promises of the Madabu administration read we read uh, alongside with this audit report you find out say there's a is a is a complete opposite of that so that will go for established first and foremost so but in a brief we are in the african express we are not surprised with the content of the report we know in fact some people will read the report say oh when they follow the africans but then, then, then even the field say we participate in the writing of the <laughs> of the of the report which is very interesting because it, it came out vomiting. We, we, we want to understand the report, just go read the African Express articles from March 1 up to um, uh, October, um, I think October 15, where we published the last article right. talking about Leadway. 
In fact, now on March 15, we first talk about lead weight. March 15, in the article where we highlighted um, the unauthorized and illegal access of the first lady to public money, because it's the first time in the history of, in the 60 year history of what we call independence in Leon, where we get the wife of a president having access to public money, having access to the consolidated fund. It has never happened. Yeah, so quickly on that, but the first lady's office say that she is not um, a politician, she's not holding a public office, and they're not one day gear money never received, you know, on previous interviews that we've seen. Mm -hmm. So the, uh, the reports actually, the audit reports actually capture and highlight, say, um, funds we are giving to her or to oh, her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah just, just, just read the appendix of, uh, in fact, in the appendix, not just the executive summary, just go to the appendix. You will see who said the audit the audit service talk say the these statements are, you know the evidence upon which this statement is built come from the following accounts in which they list the accounts from the office of the president they list the account of the um the first lady is maintaining two accounts two bank accounts one with um um local commercial bank and the other with the bank of sierra leone so i mean what that tells you is because uh, money is uh, going into the uh, first lady's account from the consolidated fund. You know, forget bank accounts and the Bank of Sierra Leone. So you didn't have the audit report. That that in itself now an indictment on this government because wow. the first lady is not an it's not part of the administration. It's not part of the political structure of the of the government of Sierra Leone. It's not part of the administrative structure of the government so, of Sierra Leone. So so in essence, um, it is not a ceremonial office. It right. is not a statutory institution. It has no right under the constitution of Sierra Leone as it is currently to receive a single cent from the consolidated revenue fund. And now we have a situation where billions and billions of taxpayers' money has been given to the wife of the president for her own use. Okay. In the name of carrying out social programs. And that is that is unauthorized, it's illegal. So for we we had we had highlighted this, including the fact that we said in fact the executive order of the president who say is centralized public spending, it's created uh -huh. a single treasury account. Right. It, it allow it, it, it don't prevent people from seeing the use of public money because the idea of a single treasury account, I say, would mop up wastages. But in the case of Madabio, he centralized the public budget to himself and his finance minister so that nobody would be able to see, including people working in government, in ministries, agencies, and departments, would, would be unable to see exactly how public money is being dispensed. Now, secret, they created the equivalent of a secret society kind of arrangement with the use of public money. And that is why you will see that they think nobody will be able to see this. And and for we in the African Spread, that is what we decided to investigate. Okay. And from March 1, March, April, May, June, almost for nine months, we've been writing about these things and talking about it. So then my question, you now what we, the thing that we do highlight is um, you know, not keeping to promises, okay. If I go summarize, you say not keeping to promises and misinforming the public because saying one thing and doing the opposite, and also no misinforming, deceiving, deceiving. There's a difference between misinforming people and deceiving. No, I'll, I'll, I'll come deceiving to the people. actual, you know, you know, the, yeah. the, the what's in the budget say about what's missing. I just a look at for slow broker because you mentioned say reading it alongside the manifest, yeah. the manifesto or the new direction policy you know, uh, cutting down, you know, public spending, you know, reducing wastage, those kind of things. That's what it says. It was like really, really streamlined on those things. Mm -hmm. And then the single treasury account, like you say, the cons you know, for the consolidated fund. But if African Express, in don't they highlight them things here since March, and this report only come out in December, and all of these things will have been on the highlight. It's been captured in there. Does that mean someone was deliberate or not just paying attention or just not care? How would you interpret that? Oh, um, we did, you can describe it any which way. In fact, we're not getting the appropriate um, adjective for describe this mentality of governance. It's, it's a gangster style of operation where individuals who think that the state is their property, that um, they will loot public money and get away with them any which way they don't care. You know, so this brazen, what, for, to me what shocks me is the brazen boldness on the part of this administration 
for come out and say they fight corruption, and now you have a situation like this uh, monumental scandal that has been ongoing. And when we've been raising these issues, if you remember when we first published the article on, on payroll scandal, the Minister of Finance came out and was arguing against it, saying, oh, the payroll increased because we don't recruit more teachers, more nurses. And it turned out, even teachers are saying they've received PIN codes for two years, they've not been paid. We saw this video of teach, uh, teachers in Tongo, in the SLPP hotlines, for example, who are complaining that they've not been receiving salaries. The same for healthcare workers throughout COVID. We saw these protests about allowances and all this. So these people, they don't, they just hijack the state. It's, it, it's, a, it's a kind of guerrilla kind of operation. Gangsters, the mafia, the equivalent of a mafia that's in power. And, 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 and this is what is disturbing because when you when we talk about this situation, you get this uh, uh, brigade of vigilantes on the internet who come out and begin to defend this kind of uh, shameful uh, management, shameful uh, uh, misconduct, mismanagement and of, of, of public money. And this situation is, is serious because it will deal directly with the lives of ordinary people. Look at a few days ago, we talk about somebody losing uh, his, his, his or a family losing a child because of lack of a generator. And you see this uh, billions and billions of money that has been stolen um, uh, from, from the public budget, from taxpayers' money. We're supposed to benefit um, ordinary people for build social service delivery, healthcare, uh, public roads, and all of them there. So the, the fact that these people identify these problems in their manifesto when they were campaigning, not just in 2018, but beginning in 2012, because the New Direction Manifesto is not just a, a document they developed in 2018. It was developed in 2012. They revised it in 2018. And all of these issues that this audit report is talking about were put in the New Direction Manifesto beginning from 2012 up to 2018. And not only that, all the public pronouncement of Madabio is, is this thing about them fighting corruption, them you know serious about holding people accountable and all of that. And look at this monumental scandal. We are, even your wife has access to public money that she's not supposed to have access to. What kind of shameful situation is this? It's a disgrace. It's a national disgrace. So right. we have to, we have to tell people what is the what is the meaning of this report, as against we have to read this against the electoral promises. Not a mistake. If the deliberate, if you not have been something, you not have been proper, you identify this problem. You campaign on them. You promise people you are going to cut down on on on, on public spending. You're going to be disciplined with public finance. You're going to ensure that uh, leakages and wastages are in public finance management are blocked. And then you, you went as far as centralizing the national accounts of the country uh, on the pretext that this is one way of mopping up all these wastages. And now all what we have is this massive uh, loss of public revenue to the fact, to the point that your own friends and relatives are now part of state, uh, are part of the state contractual arrangement where they are uh, receiving contracts mismanaging public money and abuse of office, all kinds of situations. So what kind of government is this? You cannot say uh, uh, this is, is ignorance or is a mistake. This is basically an administration. We take people in for granted. We think say, they don't hold the country hostage. Um, they feel say, the state and their own property that they are going to be in power. You only operate this way when you think that you are going to be in power for 100 years or infinity in order for left power. And you believe right. that you are not going to be held accountable for all these things that you're doing. And that is what makes this situation extremely serious, why citizens have to take this situation serious, because we have gotten to a point 60 years we've been having this situation. And what we have now with this 2019 report is, it has been, it has risen to this monumental uh, situation where unprecedented issues, look at the loss of timber revenue, you know, export revenue, we just people, we these people's argument that, you know, it's a legislative mistake. Right. You, only, you know, all these things, uh, you, you, you don't talk, you go sit on a cabinet, president, ministers and sit on a cabinet, say they want to increase domestic revenue generation. Then they, then they increase the timber levy. It didn't have the, it didn't have the appropriation bill where the finance minister present a parliament 2019. Then you go now, you say you don't increase the timber export levy by $2,500 uh, uh, by cubic meter. Two years later, you are caught on the fact that you have not paid the, the appropriate taxes, then you say, oh no, the law is not appropriate, you know, it's not feasible, there was a legislative mistake, if we don't do this. What you are basically saying is that the, these people who preside over that are simple idiots. Wow. That, that's what you're saying. And you don't want to insult, you don't want to insult 
uh, at the intelligence of, of Sierra Leoneans. We are not fools. <laughs> I mean, um, the point is what law, it doesn't like you sell, you sell telephone or you get or rent one bag or rent, you say this one bag or rent and sell them for 100,000. Somebody can't take and go to an corner. You say don't go sell, they say corner like the price now 10,000. So now you go sell at 10,000. But that is not the, the law. Me saying at 20, now 100,000, if you know you go sell, why you take and go sell in the first place? Right. So this, okay. this is, so this argument about the value, the value of timber in America or in China or other side doesn't hold on the fact of the matter is what is the existing law. Mm -hmm. But these people don't always take Sierra Leoneans for granted. They think that everybody um, is uneducated, everybody doesn't know anything, and then sabi everything. This arrogance, arrogance of power, the so, arrogance that, then, you know, I, 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 I felt to understand this kind of psychology. Yeah, people that want to talk more about, you know, possibly specific things that we raise eyebrow inside the report. Mm -hmm. um, I'll kind of, but the reason why I make I just follow get this overarching, you know, response or reaction. Now, for little we forget the basis. So when you possibly start for talk about figures or specific issues, possibly we'll understand where the conversation they lead to. So the other thing, now that you've mentioned that um, mistake, um, we see initially that on the audit report where it come out, mm -hmm. the first response where we see, now uh, which you highlight say, oh, the figures they they captured 2016, 2017, 2018, 2019, not to just for this year, that's mm -hmm. one. Then people deliberately went out attacking the Auditor General, you know, say he just talk with you one for talk or not because now APC operative, okay? That was one reaction from the public, but today, or earlier yesterday to today, I think the uh, um, Auditor General did an interview now 98.1. Now, they, they don't blame MC, always right, they're not rubbish, but now they come back and they use some of the statements where he make for say, or oh, not say, then corrupt. So what's your reaction so far since the report don't come out? Just highlight that for me shortly, then we'll go now into the specifics. Yeah, I, I think that now also for surprise we for the for two years now. You remember in this conversation we don't talk say um, the Madabu administration pretends say in fact corruption began with uh, Anes Kuruma in administration the APC the previous administration. Mm -hmm. For them, if you want to talk about corruption, you have to talk about two thousand and eight to twenty eighteen. That is their own timeline. Right. Okay. And I have said that. Corruption is a present is is in the present continuous. That's what we are interested in. Okay, so for them, what that narrative does is that by by anybody we talk about uh, we before now talk about corruption in the Madabi administration, they say no, but I'm an APC don't if pass so. You understand? For them, and anybody says they say you know APC. So they've been characterizing everybody as either a member or sympathizer of the opposition. Okay, or a benefactor of the even me when, when we begin publish the first way and say, Oh, now nah, APC, you are marketing you born, so they begin saying that. But then, um, only for make a highlight to them, say, Well, oh, look, me when I was writing against APC, we were a party newspaper uh, publisher, so they cannot push that argument too far. So it's a it's a slander campaign. This government not only the thief public money, they not only they mismanage the public budget, not only they violate citizens, they write violence and all of that and intimidate people. But they have also proficiently developed, with the aid of a vigilante uh, propaganda propaganda force, um, a slander campaign where anyone who raises questions about uh, mismanagement of public money is being um, slandered or blackmailed into silence. Okay, now so then do the opposition. They they took this blanket uh, accusation that everybody we don't work under the Skoumai administration, whether you were guilty of corruption or not, you are corrupt. Everybody when a member of any other party outside of SLPP is not a genuine Sierra Leone, it's not a patriotic Sierra Leone, they have said that. So for them, anything we oppose to Madabi in, in administration, that particular individual is either not a patriotic Sierra Leone, or is either a benefactor or member of the APC, or, is an, or is, has been paid by the APC to do so. So that's why they don't, they don't divide the country. They not only divide the country in terms of region, and in terms of party, they have also divided the country in terms of who support the administration and who doesn't support. And to them, a patriotic, they even defined what constitute a citizenship in the country. To them, citizenship in the country, now allegiance to this corrupt regime, that if you do not support Madabio and corrupt administration, you are not a Sierra Leonean. And we are saying it's impossible. <laughs> we're not going to be 
uh, uh, good Southern Unions when you guys were in opposition and now that you are in power, we refuse to be part of this corrupt arrangement. You say we are non Southern Unions. We're not going to agree that one day. You do not own the country. So the accusation that is in, within that context that this accusation of Lara Taylor Pierce, they, you know, they happen. And one thing, even me now, as as the Africa, if the, if the African press write anything right now, where they think say they in their favor, uh, support them, they will share it. They will, they will dance with it. So wow. you, you, they do it with awareness times. Awareness times, for example, publish something against against the government and cause awareness times and, and the people as well as awareness times. The other day, the awareness time write something against any uh, but even an APC or this or that, they will take it and share it. Then the very people there. So to tell you, they are not, they, they're not even get principle in the operation. Because this is the, this is like a, a militia, a political militia. That's the conduct of a political militia in power. And, and this is, this is the character and nature of a dictatorship in making, which is why we have to, we have to expose it and we have to fight against it, uh, campaign against it as, as, as citizens. Now we so how, how many people you don't call and congratulate you since the reports come out? Uh, honestly, I don't look for congratulations, but I don't get a lot of uh, uh, messages from ministers, uh, people who feel the men and go to college together, then they call me, so they call me, oh, you're not lying, man, you're not this, you're not that, then they call me devil, then they call me uh, Satan, so <laughs> including Babadi and all this. Well, but, you have one, one or two of those people. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. In fact, uh, 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 this morning... Yeah, you Minister Paddy, they will not call you. Uh, oh, yeah. you no, I don't tell them, I don't tell them, say... Um, I got to publish all them, all the messages uh, verbatim as 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 it is because um, if good many people and see these cowards where they go to corner, they write you messages, inbox and feel say the insults and go be then go deter you from from continuing the kind of operation. But I want to use this opportunity now that you ask me for tell them if they are looking at the look make people and tell them say the more that they insult me privately, <laughs> make I tell them now that that, that one thing I like where you the Will they amplify, you know, enthusiasm for continue? Again, this 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 message from Babadi, for example, for this Huda? morning, Babadi Kamara, the, the CEO of C of Leadway, uh -huh. he say, oh, oh yeah, Babadi, he send you message. Oh yeah, because you know, say we go for interview when we run the uh, articles. It's a, it's a practice. We go for interview the subject of you, yeah. of you. We we'll forget the story. So I've been interviewed. So he come back, he forward to me the. The video of the uh, auditor general where they talk about where they try to explain how government argues. Say, oh, today, actually. yeah, today, this morning, oh, and and I tell and say we send that to me. I tell and say Leadway still has to explain why they use containers instead of cubic meters to value timber exports as required by law. You cannot violate a law, a laid down law, and then say it was a mistake. Then his response was, "Your stupidity is beyond comprehension." That's what he tell me. So yeah. then, come on, there's another part. So I, I had to laugh. I do a part to say, uh, in fact, for um, before the inception, and any television, before the inception of this administration, I've been the, I've been there in the position for take care of you and your entire family. That's what they tell me. Uh, so then, in, a, in another one, he, this guy went as far as telling me that, in fact, he's having a peace and conflict and I studied in a Fulbright College, which is not true, and that because of that, he thinks they are not getting the uh, the, mental, the intellectual capacity for debate cubic meter and container. This is a topic that your teachers or lecturers won't understand. So, so these are the kind. So for me, and and I can show people there. This I can I can just I plan for publish all them here as the descendant to me. I will, we will do that because this constitute an act of intimidation and harassment from people from corrupt people in society. So if somebody at the ten thousand miles away. By ear from uh, Sierra Leone, and you just send me these messages of insult and threat and all that, which means from Sierra Leone, you go down, send some kind talks, and for go kill me and my host. This is how they've been. When people, when people accuse them of, of murdering people silently, it is something that we have to pay close attention to. We therefore investigate more. We know these ongoing secret deaths and all of it, where people, people they talk about. Ordinary people do not talk about things in vacuum. When they begin to accuse an administration of silent, of silent killings, we saw what happened on in Padamba Road. We therefore, we therefore pay attention to some of these details because what this tells me is that there is a heightened climate of repression, a heightened climate of intimidation that's happening under the Madabio administration. This is not the democracy that Madabio inherited from the previous administration. Even if Kuruma was corrupt, we had a situation where we, we, we engaged, we went on radio, including Madabio and all these people in power. We were all sharing the same platform on TV and radio day and night, talking about corruption. 
and whenever I receive this kind of uh, messages. So now I'm distance away and these people are harassing me with messages and, and insults. Right. They try okay. to carry out psychological terror against me. But how let me tell them that. How they keep column, nah. What's it called? Um, you know, the kind of risk where you get on the job, um, I would think of the word, you know, um, as we go. Well, you know, not part of, not part of uh, um, the job. So now, I wouldn't be surprised. I mean, even somebody yesterday tell me, say, some, odd, some of the odd people working in the audit service have also received anonymous text messages and calls since this audit report came out, threatening them. So I people don't know whether they will have the courage. Yeah, I mean, whether they will we, have the courage. We, we investigate and pull the report. Yeah, exactly. Some of the people working there, uh, someone told uh, uh, we own intelligence, we own investigation, point to the fact that they are also being subjected to persistent threat from operatives of the government, receiving anonymous text messages. And some of those text messages and phone calls, I mean, details of those text messages have been forwarded to us. Hmm. So this now the kind of government we get, people the way they thief public money, they don't want me somebody talk about them, they say the only thing we will happen about intimidate everybody to silence, use this military brigade. Uh, we know Madabio is a former is a military officer in power now in the civilian closing. But we're not getting we're not getting military rule, a democracy. We have to we have to force these people to accept that democracy is an ongoing engagement. Conversation are part of the part of the game. Conversation is part of the game. They cannot stop that. So let's go to the reports now and um, the details of the report. What yes. are the highlights? Because you say, you know, the, 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 the reports um, expose thieving. Which thing constitute thieving for you according to the report? Figures as well as, you know, certain <clears throat> areas, departments, or which thing jump off for you? In, I know say the leadway is one, the leadway mm -hmm. thing. We'll, we'll yeah. go into that error thing day quick, but I just want to see what else jumped up for you. Um, where you go going at the report, I think so they talk about cancellation of obsolete checks. You, you you understand that yeah. these are all checks and and all of this. then also the the debt burden uh -huh. you know, the debt burden don't increase and also the audits report talk about their inability to confirm some of these supposed debts that the country get the volume of that so basically there is no proper reporting of the exact debt the level of debt with the country gets since this administration coming to power Mm. Both domestic and international. So why do you have to hide that information or try not to disclose the debt? And more very well, important because members say these people don't they talk about say they don't they pay some of these debts and what they talk about. So if you're not able to disclose the amount of debts that we don't pay, the amount who we still owe, mean that the supposed debts that we they pay, you just pay and collect them back to yourself. Mm. So those issues, nothing you can pass people they're not can they're not can read them thing and they and obsolete checks, cancellation of obsolete checks therefore do with also um, procedures. So the way it's described in the report, it tells you there's a corrupt arrangement where some of these money is also withdrawn by these finance officials, finance minister, the financial secretary, and the and and also the work down the dung for we small the, the director of, of uh, uh, you know budget and 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 plan. For example, if 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 I owe you um, yeah. 100, 100 uh, uh, million. Uh -huh. Then I owe, I owe the government 100 million. Now we cannot, we cannot, you, you understand, pay it. We talk, okay, mm -hmm. now this one we don't write them off. Now, just an example, I give. Yeah. As a, as a, as a, as a bad, bad debt. That's bad debt, yeah. So, like, 100 million I got for pay. Then now I come out, I go again in the corner, I go, I uh, talk, okay, now that 100 million I can pay again. Give me 60 million, but now you take it. So, so like those, in taxes, for example. Yeah, in taxes and, and stuff like that, you know, you you understand? And also you claim, say, this person will be owed this person a certain amount of money, we don't pay them. You, you, you understand? But then when you, you don't get the proper record of arrangement of some of these things, or contractors, again, we government be owed for the delivery of particular projects where they're not completed, you go pay them without following the... So people, they uh, do black markets inside government. Yeah, 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 exactly. So yeah, change, that, that's change, what it is. Yeah, um, change, 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 change. So... Some of these bigger, these are these are high scale corrupt practices uh, within the Ministry of Finance where people not can take notice of. We can always pay attention to two billion dollars here, and and the, the, there's the, there's a lev levels of corruption in which you get this situation where the cash don't disappear. That is money. Yeah. For example, you correct money in Awataki, as in the case of the foreign travel taxes. Mm -hmm. Inside airline, they say we don't pay this money, but the auditors and they say this money not available at the bank. So which means 
the money either went to a different account or people who collect the money now Karambula Bank was not banked. Okay. okay. Mostly, so this money missing, we we'll talk about this hundred and something, seven something billion. We we'll talk about this and the physical and the money, not to the not to these other aspects mm -hmm. of of loss. And when you look at them one day, you see some thirty billion, some you know more bigger, more large scale, grand aspects of corruption within the financial operations of admin. So this will focus on, for the most part, about the missing billions in terms of the re revenues collected from Salu Maritime Administration, from the uh, Customs Department and all that here, and also the failures for collect taxes and anything and the, now the If you look at really now micro mm -hmm. aspects of the entire corruption. So the big, big corruption the inside. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, but the, the, the culture, they, they, they are aware, say, people mostly don't read past the executive summary for the most part. But we got to encourage people and for read the report, detail, but and not only that, look at the appendix, because the appendix of the report and the evidence upon which this summary, this narrative is built upon. Mm -hmm. So the appendix, in fact, in more detail than even the, um, some of this narrative from the executive summary take and on. But the Minister of Finance, now a hub, now a hub of this uh, corrupt operation. And people, mm -hmm. know the, and again, is thinking that anybody will not study mathematics, not study, uh, finance and accounting, not to see and understand some of these things. But right. for me, I think that that one day, it, it can, I can surprise that people don't pay attention to this tiny aspect of the corruption than these bigger issues really regarding debt payment, debt burden, and also the processes through which we, we they pay contractors and, and things like that. We inside, we inside the, uh, the cancellation of obsolete checks and then they are, they are huge. So. Um, and that, is where, that is where the finance minister in, in small Kabudu, uh -huh. the minister of finance, the, the, game, the director of uh, uh, budget, Matthew Dingy, and all the one. That they didn't, they didn't, they didn't, they didn't really uh, sit down on the money. So, now they didn't marry day. Yeah, they didn't marry the We really they smile about these things, but these are very uh, serious. It's a, it's a gangster, mafia kind of uh, cartel. Oh. Uh, that we have to, we have to study and and okay. really help people and understand and simplify and in simple terms. All and right, all and day. Um, thank you so much. Um, you know, family already listen. Chernobyl African Express don't talk about corruption way before the audit reports come out, 2019, and most of the things that um, they don't highlight is being uh, captured in that report based on we own reading so far. Um, you know, the FTT um, revenue collection. Um, I actually been getting the aviation boss now, so a few weeks back, and I ask him specifically, um, say, then say when they run different account, they say their account, then they don't exist. But when I read the report, I saw those accounts were mentioned. And then, of course, the issue of Leadway, you know, day inside day, and um, Ministry of Transport as well, and um, other ministries that will be mentioned, say, uh, 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 um, I don't know if not health or waiting, water resources and so on. You know, those were all captured there verbatim the way on a reporter. I will can go to T Boy quick. T Boy, um, then I will can also discuss specific leadway uh, um, and this report because now it don't subject to interpretation with the law, but we'll go yonder. So T Boy and Femi, I know so now said they listen and so until now pass here. Nah, nah. Okay, okay. All right. Um, they don't. Mau mau don't all. Um, family so you know we will for come on board. Um, right now. T boy. So you know, you say black market day inside government. How does that operate for you? <laughs> because this is very interesting. So me or government or let us say for example, are for supply government, hundred motorbikes. Then don't give me thirty percent of the money for supply them. Then waiting government they do, then can then cancel the contract or make some kind of other way, suspend all thing. Then we still not all government money, but I not supply government the hundred bikes. So that's one. Secondly, I owe government tax. 200 million for pay government tax. But then I go, I go the, I go meet the commissioner or somebody. I see you know it's in, I will not be able to close my business, I don't get that money there. So then say, okay, this is a struggling business, bad debts, we we'll cancel and bad debt. But then, you know, I send Femi to you, Femi can say, okay, instead of 200 million, just give Femi 100 million, no more, we don't settle. 
So these are the kind of black markets that so me understand. I'm waiting that you take them before you go to the questions and at the chat group. Um for making left for we to play that game a pass here, no way, no way, no way. A pass here, no way, no way. Then with the accent, who say you mind picking the bar? That game is never played today. But anyway, um a very serious discussion. And with what you the try for make uh, reflect on right now, I think say you know rational for me because at the end of the day um when i look at the concept of buying and selling is different from the concept of contract and delivery mm -hmm. so when you have a contract you have to deliver and when you buy a product you have to give the products so for example you can't buy yourself but if you've been given a contract and you're not really I'm, I'm, I'm producing anything for that contract that you've been given or that you've been awarded, it means you should return the money back. Except mm -hmm. if you want to take administration cost because you've already started a process. Mm -hmm. And administration cost can always be between 10 to 15% of that mm -hmm. particular funding. Mm -hmm. So that my own business knowledge well no, like I said. Also business you, knowledge, because I for me you even use you as example because you get commission for doing a lot of jobs. I I well you know, international organizations, <laughs> and you get you get specification for this. Like so that make I don't do that specification. It's based on me relationship with international contracts being awarded to Sarah Jane Media or Tibosh Production over the years. Mm -hmm. It's based on that. So what thing they say is, if I have a contract and I did not deliver, mm -hmm. that company will take me to court. One right. for failing to deliver. Two, a full refund. Mm -hmm. of the contract being awarded to me in terms of financial status of the contract. Yeah. Well, with what you say so, I don't come across I'm a lot of salon anyway, so it's not, a, it's, it's not a big deal to me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Physically, um, my very first few years in Sierra Leone was a challenge, mm -hmm. and those contracts will come, and they will say to me, oh, T-boy, well, this contract is now 50 million. Okay? And you only have to produce, the contract initially is for you to produce 50 copies, for example, of a newsletter. Mm -hmm. And, okay, but you don't have to produce 50 copies. You can only produce five. I'm like, why? The contract is for 50 copies. Why do I need to produce five? Mm -hmm. No, don't worry. We can deal with that. And I say, no, I can't deal with that. Because guess what? If anything goes wrong, I will be held responsible. Because All I've right. been given a contract for 50 copies, and I'm only producing five. How can I defend my status to say I am a genuine businessman or I have to actually deliver for what you've been or what you've paid for? Mm -hmm. So it's not new. It does happen in Sierra Leone. It's like common practice. And you only get forget discipline in your own business for making people for say no to those contracts. And I make sometimes now you can see some of you like say, we're not getting money, uh, we add up, we work, but we rather remain that kind of level, they will be they will comfortable for do whatever they want to do with the small money that they get. Then we we'll actually, they fit on, they drive luxurious cars, build mansions, and live on the hospices of people suffering. I will not do that. So now, so now somebody like you make new companies, they don't set up, then they give the contracts to people that way, go before. Because one of the things will jump up for me, I just laugh. We'll go to the COVID report later. But that was very interesting. And I, you know, I get for mention that. That one had the COVID in your audit. I see a company, when a construction company, the registration, the expertise, now for bill os or, you know, do small, small construction contracts. Mm -hmm. But according to the COVID audit report, then give them contract na Ministry of Health for catering business, for cook, for cook, cook, cook. Well, <laughs> and salon. And then 2.2, 2, the contract at 2.3 billion leons. But this company, according to the returns and all that, then they, then capacity, you know, past 9 million leons for us. As in the worth of the company? The company, if you watch in liability force, in liability where you don't ever wait to call another nine million, but then you go get a two point three billion leons contract for food for, for cater for COVID, whereas na construction company. How uh, how um shobule and pan connect with pots and <laughs> and cook spoon? Therefore we got we got for put the eight pan for making represents the bowl for put the yes for go serve 
and yeah. then he shovel of course now get for take for clear the fire side after our own prepare the food done it so that's the logic but again that's a total different ball game yeah. but i just want to highlight see um i've had a lot of billions and billions and billions and billions mm -hmm. within our budget in civil union but I will ask a question and I will make a statement to that when we go towards the end of the program. Because okay. as far as me concerned, we have money and we just don't know where the money is going. And we complain every day that we are poor, we are not rich, we right. are suffering, we need to live to the standard of Europe and everything. But I think mm -hmm. we, we, we can actually make So do you think say money then are the country? There is money. Not for the sofa, let our children up in Sierra picking them up for the die, you know, because of generator. Juma, yeah. just like I said, anybody will actually sit down and convert those billions to dollars or equate them to pounds, you will know how much money we have in Civil Union. Trust me. I will All make right. a statement to that. But okay. the chat group right now very interesting. There's mm -hmm. been a lot of banter going back and forth. People are challenging some of the statements of the um, 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 audit report already. Somebody can always say, ah, this is not audit report, not so audit report program on a paper. Change the camera, we can talk about your personal life. <laughs> so in the good. Now they say, go, go. But again, it's a very serious thing because most of the issue we China to go through in your own personal life has a lot to do with the audit report because the uh -huh. audit report has something we don't begin to talk about since, what, six, seven, eight months ago. Right. A long time ago. So yeah. it's not something new for make, you know, explain exactly some of the consequences of the work we do, we mm -hmm. will put everybody else at risk. So I don't think whether that is the right statement for somebody to make mm -hmm. in terms of we don't want to come and hear your personal story. It is not a personal story. It is a story directly connected to the mm -hmm. work we do. That's not personal. Because at the end of the day, if you sit back and feel intimidated or feel suppressed or feel I'm, I'm, I'm squeezed to the corner. That means you've been forced to stop doing what you're doing. And that is what's happening with a lot of people. Exactly. So if I let somebody make that kind of statement, they, hello, and if you're definitely a financial person, according mm -hmm. to what your credential says on your profile, I think you should be able to understand that certain credential stuff that you know, and if you're ready to talk about it, when your superiors are not ready to talk about it, you're definitely going to get yourself into problem. So you're willing to run that problem or you're willing just not to get involved. So okay. as, far as, I'm, as far as I'm concerned, China is not doing a job for himself. He's doing a job for the entire civil union. And okay. some of us are in 100% looking forward to what he's doing and supporting what he's doing. Because if I have that same kind of ability to do what he's doing, I will do it. Okay. Because there's right. nothing wrong with doing that. Okay. You're not doing it for any kind of political gain. That man has been actually auditing the APC government for over 10 years, and he wrote books and books and books. And people were buying those books. People were happy to read those books. Like I mentioned earlier on, if they say anything about your political party you're not happy about, you complain. When they say something about your party, or oh, you're happy. Right. Come on, are we having a circus? Because that's the only thing I can actually imagine we're having. If we're running a circus, it means we're going to be happy when that elephant throws a ball up in the air and collects it with his trunk. And when he misses to cut the ball, everybody go, ah! Oh. We're not running a circus, please. We are running a country, and we should run it properly. It's not okay, thank you. Thank you so much, T-Boy. Um, Cherno, I bring you come back in while it rests small. So, I don't send you messages. Have you received any new messages? No, I'm not checking. I just want okay. to read this. Um, <laughs> So I want to read this by I don't know. I, I want okay, but I'm just want to read directly from this thing about public debt. Who I talk about? Yeah, go ahead. Go, go ahead. Then yeah, go ahead. Yeah, um, you can see under the heading public debt maintenance of external debt information in the general purpose financial statement. Um, this is directly from the report. External yeah, confirmation in respect of public debts. We are received for 13.86 trillion, that is 94.76% out of 14.33 trillion reported in the general purpose financial statement. See how the debt is the debt will country get by all this money with it. If no, China, hold on, I've already done it. Wait, I mean. <laughs> leaving, I just want to return back to that. Okay, okay. I want the, the exact side I want me to take note of leaving a balance of 765. 
5.79 billion that is 5.24 percent unconfirmed okay so the auditors confirmed with external debtors and uh, they are not confirmed 94.76 percent of the debt but there is 765.79 billion unconfirmed so now either um there is a reason why that information is kept either um they don't report it they don't pay but actually the money went the, they still the country still owe but then right up because you know there has been a series of press releases from the minister of finance claiming that they are repaying debts left behind mm -hmm. by pre, by the previous government okay mm -hmm. we noted from confirmation letters listen confirmation letters sent by external creditors that debts totaling 13 Point five billion we are not seen in the revised disbursed outstanding debts DOD. In addition, a net variance totaling one hundred and forty nine point eight eight billion was not was noted between the um this disbursed outstanding debts disclosed in the general proposed financial statements and confirmation letters received from external creditors. So what, what you're saying is that they either claim to have paid particular debts for which they have no evidence that it's been paid because it cannot be confirmed from other people. You know, so we do not have exactly a real picture of the total debt we the country owe because these people in the debt unit of the Minister of Finance have withheld information. And they do that purposely. The reason why the logic of doing that particular situation is because there are times when you claim you've paid somebody, but actually you haven't paid the person. The person did not receive the, like now, I owe you, I talk to you, I've been unpaid Juma. So, or somebody owe you, okay, as you say, give me the money for go give you, I hold the money to myself. And you, you will refuse to say, the person will owe you will refuse to say, he, he don't pay you this money, yeah. okay? Only then little America can realize, say, oh, I know I don't pay the money. You don't, you, you don't understand. I know I don't pay the money. So basically, that is what is happening, where you keep the informi debt information. And the debt information is not something you keep because the country needs for no. We need for no the total debt burden, how much we owe as a country. Because another way we for helpful for balance. Exactly, for exactly. Not. Because these are, these, are, these are economic planning yeah. uh, metrics. We need for no this, this information. It's crucial information. And people, there are people who look at the audit report specifically for the amount for, to know the amount of debt, whether this government don't incur more debt, whether they don't take more debt than the previous, and whether with debt they increase or with debt they reduce, because the debt overhangs basically get a lot to do with uh, indices of development. So you, you cannot keep that information. It's, it's public access information. It's crucial to economic development arrangements anywhere in the world. So the keeping of that information is absent. You debt, how this whole um, you know fiscal discipline what they talk about you know go come you, you will be for like a streamline all of that and make sure say we know overspend and all that thing and then so it means you are operating either you completely like you say earlier completely ignorant or you don't know your job or you they operate a black hole other kind you know i don't think that ignorance we know for we know for if we use the word ignorance we are helping to right. um we they condone the situation okay? okay anybody we're ignorant would operate this way this is the classic sophisticated approach to public stealing that's what you're looking at there's okay? a pattern yeah now 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 na, 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 we say people and develop proficiently develop a kind of mathematical emphasis and we get away with with with, with, with public graft mr ba that's what, that's what you're looking at mr ba while he talked that day because we never learn few amounts of english that's the we oh. learn you know, what's not the whole last, last time? No, you, you tell me. Um... Wait, laugh, and uh, I, I can write the new word they would learn now. Because you may say. I highlight, I highlight these things there, yeah, because you asked me about what did jump on the face when I read yeah. the report. For, you know, yeah. and what did, what did it shock me? Now, the fact that I see people, the whole hype on the report is always about this uh, cash loss. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> so that is why you see, even people think, say, the thing about tax evasion, we talk about leadway, is not important because of them, a mistake. No. The most, you see, when we talk about debt, we're talking about trillions. We're not talking about billions. So. And if we talk about billions, they are hundreds. They are in the hundreds, more than 300, 400, more than we talk about 100 billion dollars in total. Last year, we lost 104 million, 40 million. This one, and also, 
So those are micro, they are like tiny, minuscule in the general scheme of this entire financial operation where these people they run. So people, there's a lot of work that has to be done. I think the audit service and people, other people who are involved in some of these, especially this kind of situation, have to develop simplified methods of helping people to understand the content of these reports because that is the only way the society, the country will be better informed and be in a better position for whole leaders accountable. Okay? Because people then think say because they, they think they are the only mathematicians, only economists, so they are the only people who understand these things. Mm -hmm. And then they thrive on the fact that everybody doesn't know. So the few people who know they're either threatening you not for talk or the other people who think they will talk and give them small money. Um, in the media and civil society, and they will be divide, balkanize the country, APC versus SLPP, and this debate. <laughs> this debt we we'll talk about in trillions. <laughs> it is going to be inherited by the by future generations. That that was going to be my 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 point. Why is it important? Because if you say you don't pay, or you say you you know will account for show the debt who we get, you keep them. Then let's say change of government. That government, they get that burden. They're not going to even know side for start because people like who can begin to line, say, government owe me. Because when government or not a particular political party, you're taking debt on behalf of the people of Sierra Leone. So when they can go to court, now the government of Sierra Leone, then they can go to court. So government, I get for inherit that debt day. I pray that, you know, if government get for change whenever, whether in the next two, three years, in the next seven years, or in the next 20 years, whenever. I pray that we not go get debt where they can seize with country. You know, just like I will see other countries, <laughs> they're going to seize the airport, they seize this. So I said, they can't take war like they go. I see you, because they can't take war like they go. <laughs> you talk in a joke. Okay, we can I read the other thing we are talking about, the cancellation of um, obsolete checks. Yeah. Okay. And uh, um, it is under, you see, uh, cash and bank, the first subhead in cancellation of obsolete checks. Mm -hmm. We reviewed a minute paper dated 16 June 2020, written by the principal deputy financial secretary mm -hmm, to the financial secretary, requesting for the minister's approval for the cancellation of obsolete checks amounting to 207 billion. Imagine 207 billion eh, cancel the check. Mm -hmm. We noted that the necessary adjustments have been made on the general purpose financial statement. We did not receive for verification eh? the revised areas clearance strategy letter of cancellation mm, of all contracts and responses to the letters of cancellation of contracts from the contractors and suppliers. And we are talking about 207 billion. Not so when they pay attention to 177 billion, that is not what you should be. And this is not the carryover mm -hmm. from 2015, 2016, and 2017. This is basically what JJ Safa, Sajusu, and Matthew Dingy and others in the current administration, the finance ministry. Remember, these people don't did it for a long time. And, and what is saddening is the fact that these people they receive salaries more than any other civil servant in the country. Mm. Sajusu is now clocking uh close to 100 million leons a month and on top of that you can do this kind of uh, situation 270 270 so, so, so like what you really talk about people. that black market business about 200 okay, million so people i am saying these are the kind of macro issues these are the real issues who we'll focus on okay leaving this other this other thing there this that other one i talk about so that the pedestrian that the small 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 man there inside the the procurement officer and, and the only thing that they talk about so so where anti-corruption they arrest now that they small procurement officer the other one and they, 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 they go away now say oh the one they will be done you know uh, uh, uh vote a uh, permanent secretary with a small procurement officer and then balance uh, procurement shape the invoices and this and that now that they focus but then that one there's some, something be able to talk so we want to look at the real <laughs> grand corruption this is where it is these are the issues but they take so the mama the corruption of business that so, he cast on a paper in the yeah. worker. If people are true, most of these people on the internet and all these places talk about talking about these audit reports, if they are really true to their conscience, they will know that they have not read beyond 10%. And this is inclusive of some of the journalists that I know that I've spoken to. Because people they talk to me, I tell them, 
one aspect of the report that they say, but man, I'll tell you, I'll pass it to back. You know, you can, you can, you can, you can do a census among educated people that are, that are supposedly talking about these audit reports, both COVID and this. Mm -hmm. eh? Let me say the focus on generator dollars and computer, computer dollars, and now you see 1997 HP laptops coming up. <laughs> so, but really, um, but really, most of these people have not read beyond executive summary. They haven't looked at the report. If you if you doubt that, call ten of your friends who you know, ask them about which aspect of this. The guy you asked me, so now which aspect of the report and this and that. We you know point to specific pages. What about the ask them about one particular aspect of the of the appendix? You will see that um, most of these things are not. They haven't read it. That that just what you know. One oh, seven seven billion. Oh, this country uh, last year one forty billion. Now one seven seven. These that amount are basically then small man there inside the government and then and they don't teach them it. The minister and their financial sector. It, it, it's even possible those guys were just given they used, they just uh, papers to sign. Yeah. You know, they sign here. You know, if you know it's in, they sign for an online thing and they call it don't block in here. They want for proof to the party. You know, they do my job. You know, I'm competent. Then later, they can and can prime my parents in it. But anyway, let's yeah. go down yeah. to. Yeah. Issue. Before we jump to another one, there's another question, there's another issue again, way for way for attract your attention about um rent allowances. Okay. The audit reports say they for collect uh, I think withholding taxes on rent allowances. You you need for look at this government, the list of these government officials. Mm -hmm. We have the list. African Express of these people receiving rent allowances. So rent so allowances to people working for government. Working for government. Some of them 80 million, 90 million, some of like that, 100 million and more. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then the, the taxes that are due, withholding taxes on that rent allowance is not paid. And interestingly, again, some of, these people, to be the percentage yeah, some of these people, some of these people again they occupy government buildings and they are still collecting. This went. We get a list of them people. There are some they occupy the Nasid buildings. They know the Nasid even get this pay this role, list of, of debtors. We include the very people back where they collect these taxes or these allow rent allowances. You know they pay the withholding taxes. And also, you know they pay even the uh, rent for the Nasid buildings. Nasid, Nasid submit this, this list to to parliament uh, uh, not too long. So, this, <laughs> when we talk about this thing, and these are also not 2015, no, whether they were happening, but what, what we are talking about now. And this crowd of political appointees, mainly from from UK and the US, we did na na na. So this morning, and then they use for spend spend and build their own houses, and they still occupy government quarters, government uh, property. Then they pay like, the rent to them, collect the rent, and use them back. Okay, Mr. Ba, let we let, let we explain for the um, listening public and reviewers. So Nasit, the Nasit building na uh, uh, Godrich. We get apartments there with them put for sale or rent for government go able for generate money based as investment from people for people in retirement bambai. So we retire then we able for pay you retirement benefits. Mm -hmm. So that is supposed for be a business for government for able let the money not sit on one side, not so. Yeah. So people where they work for government occupy them place then they not a parent force. Okay, but then yeah. same people they collect rent allowance for the year, like you say, some people 80 million, you know, 60, 50, you name it, what in they get yeah. as their allowance. And also, that rent allowance then suppose for collect, then suppose for withholding tax. How much percentage, you know? Okay, my reader from the, from the report directly. Okay, taxes or rent allowance mm -hmm. not paid into the consolidated fund. Mm -hmm. We observed that ten percent withholding tax was deducted instead of applying the pay p a y p as you earn tax deduction percentage thirty percent from rent allowances. So they for collect even thirty percent, but they make ten percent. But even that ten percent again, so they not even pay into okay. rent allowance paid to employees and consultants, resulting in an under deduction of one billion wow. and eight hundred one point eight billion. Okay. They may have this may have led to the loss of much needed government uh, funds. Right. But the important aspect for highlight way the highlight is the fact that these people, as women, did say that they not agree pay this withholding tax mm -hmm. on the on the rent. Now the fact that most of them are occupying government buildings. So they're not the rent. Okay. 
they are occupying government buildings right. and they are not paying rent on these government buildings. An example is Nasit. We have records where Nasit debtors, including these people, were government employees. We will not pay this. Uh, uh, you get names uh, there. Uh, you right now. You know, ready for giving names there. Oh well, um, unfortunately, in the advance copy, anyway. Yeah, we will publish. We, will, we never <laughs> publish these names. Basically, that I will tell you, Juma. We never okay. publish these names. But on top, on top of my head, Naya, I, 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 I will list them thirty if I want. <laughs> so, you don't give me one because or two. some of these guys are we lose. Well, let's save it um, okay. for the new year. We will not want to spoil people in Christmas too much. Okay, okay. All right, so family, they listen. Uh, Chair, no, you know, I'm giving you names there. Right? That's a lot with New Year. Okay, we respect that. We can have poor people like Christmas. President, so wish everybody Merry Christmas for me, family, to every family. So we hope people can go enjoy in peace. And then next year, let me go to Leadway. It is important because the thing about error is there. And we see today a lot of people coming in. They use that for discredit um, the audit reports, kind of. You know, the reason I make us say that because they say, well, in fact, Sephora, they say 5.5 billion because people are still struggling to believe that we can lose revenue, you know, of that magnitude, 5.5 billion dollars. Even people within a government or where they close to government, not feel say Salon able to get that kind of money. But T Boy actually say Salon get money. And we know for, I know we'll say with T Boy and for say, I will make the end the statements later, but he say we get money in the country. So $5.5 billion in losses for a whole government, we say they make error. What in a government way come say they want for do domestic revenue generation why is that important and walk us through that process why you think say we should not just turn a blind eye to it and treat them as error i think in the in the first place um people not read or the know how many people if we say an error we could for it directly within the audit service say the other yeah. service you can see uh, the dishonest thing was it really now the fact that the very SPP supporters and their leaders there, and one the way they profit from this corruption, including officials of Leadway, because me the video, I see Babadi said, send me extract of the... So family. Babadi was quick to send you the video. Yeah, it's not to me. You see, and tell you, tell you, now, this not still, this not still solve the problem. Why, why would I use container instead of cubic meters? The law require. Mm -hmm. I say, you know, it's a bit stupid. <laughs> so, so, so he insult me after that. So the question, why did you send it to me? But anyway, make account to this point. Mm -hmm. uh, the fact that um, initially when we report this information, people then say, in fact, lead with a new response was to say, it's impossible for say, they don't export over 2.2 million cubic meters for 2019 alone. This is 2019 alone we talk about, so mm -hmm. 2020, 2018, not anymore. Mm -hmm. For 2019 alone, then deny for say, they not export that volume of timber. Uh, timber out of Sierra Leone. But the reason why we get this record now because uh, Asikuda, the Asikuda data, the Asikuda record, the, the international system, you know they will you know they will change that. Yeah. So the custom records day. Uh, because it's just like gold. Like when you when you take gold for cancer, you can forget proper documentation in terms of grade, quality, you know, content and everything, you get the certificate. So the same thing with this uh, uh, raw material export, this uh, export of, of of goods like timber and all that you can forget proper documentation so without that if we not even get a system like a secuda we don't even know how much quantity of timber they export out of the country mm -hmm. and this law about valuation one thing that people are not in the argue mistake since 2010 okay the Sierra Leone know they ever uh, we don't ship from imperial to metric system of measurement and that make now you know they sell um petrol by gallon you sell oh, by by litre. Okay. okay you know they say you know they calculate distance mm -hmm. by mile they calculate them by kilometers right so, so basically what we the saying at that um the law the law then don't the, the the system of the unit of measurement and i also say if you talk about volume uh, by, by cubic meter when mm -hmm. i go look at the weight and measures act of 2010. Mm -hmm. so the finance act we talk about 2018 
Now the finance, the cabinet, finance ministry, JJ Safad, and then sit down inside cabinet together with the president, with, with the uh, law officers department, and develop a new finance act which will give them the authorization, the legal power for implement the budgetary estimate of 2019. So this and not so that that, that 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 particular one, they not so law way been there. Now they no, 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 the law way been there 2010. Yeah, that then change. To, okay. Now, they say change in 2018, then bring yeah, a new that's finance just act. Let people understand. Yeah. So in that change. finance act, in them, JJ Safa, uh, the other ministers in cabinet, in, 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 with the assistance of the law officers department, the attorney general, minister of justice, then and they develop this legislation. Mm -hmm. See, the one for increased domestic revenue generation, and that'll be a popular slogan with them they use. So then, then go to parliament. Even the speech where you read, it, look at four, six paragraphs of the appropriation bill of 2019. He did it. Usai did talk directly. Paragraph three and four. He say then the car increase the tax on timber. He did it. So which rationalizes the, the reason why then put say for every cubic meter of such timber we export out of the country for pay two thousand five hundred dollars and then pass time to law. Parliament passed time to law. The president sign up. Now that was. The whole of 2019, then do business now. Where the audit come for can check and the audit they check procedures and and you know then look at the law we exist. The law say if you export timber, you for pay two thousand five hundred dollar per cubic meter. And then, then the law then also find out say according to the custom record from Asikuda, then see say over two point two million cubic meters then lead with them export in 2019 to different destinations. So almost that would be if you have one one cubic meter now. Two thousand five hundred for pay, then lead way you multiply down the the money will count to five point five billion and then for pay. And these are the tax with them for pay. But they find out say lead way not pay this. Instead, they may pay by container. Where the law not talk say you for value by container because, because both the Finance Act and the Weight and Measures Act prevent anybody for sell volume by that kind a uh, uh, massive amount today. You know they go sell uh, 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 petrol by 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 gallon or drum. Okay, but now when they kick them down and they, they say, Oh no, a mistake, which we've been planned for say, we don't talk about this in the previous program, we've been planned for yeah. right say, now container would be one say instead of a uh, 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 cubic meter. Right. But even if you take that say, so you know, that you want to do, if you put container, you don't violate even the, the trade law, right? Because 2010, they don't pass the law we talk say, we don't move from the imperial system of measurement. To the metric system of measurement at the international standard now all over the world and then they use kilometers and you know all right here so in essence in the in this defense you know the thing for you like say you don't come on i don't think you're gone you don't go shoot somebody you don't kill them then they, they arrest you then count in a court they say no bo i don't be plan for killer now by mistake nobody trigger my finger pass and touch the trigger by mistake mm -hmm. so how you go kill i will commit murder mm -hmm. and you go to court and talk say you kill the person by mistake. That right. is one. But for but more simplifying for the people the way they sell, now market now. They market woman, they made it if you listen. Because you can you look for simplifying, make me say help. Yeah, thank now, you. Matt, try this one now. Matt, try this yeah. simplification. <laughs> now, you the sell, you get a one, you the sell a one bag of orange uh -huh. for 100,000 leons. Yes. Okay? Then me can meet you now say, hey, this orange I want, I go sell an afrito, oh, I, I take them from uh, lock or whatever. Yeah. Or another village, you go call for me village now. Orange farm, orange farm. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. I don't take that this orange farm now. What, the, you didn't sell, I don't harvest this, you orange, you don't plant, I don't harvest, I don't put under the uh, bag there. You see this bag there, each bag. Mm -hmm. Okay. Or, or every orange, I sell at 1,000, 1,000, okay. Mm -hmm. Then me can now, I take, 1,000 orange I put inside the bag. I say this 1,000 orange all inside this bag, yeah. Now, 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 now 1,000 are the pay. Yes. I take a, a go seller. Then I go say, in fact, what I go say, I find out, say, in fact, this one orange, now 1,000, self. That's 5,000. Then the seller, then the seller, it, it less than that amount today. Uh -huh. you, 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 you don't. So whether that in the seller now free turn now, less or not, the fact of the matter is that me, you, I've been on the side for sell this orange one, for 1,000. Mm -hmm. You don't get right for counting. If you take them, um, all you put inside this bag here, you can be saying 1,000 orange today. If you calculate 1,000, take 1,000. Mm -hmm. You don't just bundle them all 
it's in okay. one bag and say each bag now I pay 1000 1000 because if I will sell it, I don't believe that I will sell it, I will get profit because if you don't run it, I will lose it. Right. So that's what it sounds like. If if you get a phone for sale, for the young people they use phone, now I get me take no phone and they sell it for 2 million, then you go, you want to go sell it like, no, you can take it on my hand and free it. I don't give you it for 2 million. Mm -hmm. Then you go down and like, you find out, say, 100,000, actually this this why I work. Mm -hmm. Then, I go sell, you go sell and day for hundred thousand. You can tell me say now for now we sell for two million. No, now mm -hmm. hundred thousand. Find out the price and a mistake. I be mistake. Say what take and your hand for. If you done, why you don't be find out for the, the value? Why cabinet not be sit down and find out and do research and find out the value of timber? But my, my question people. would be, Mister Ba, mm -hmm. not to why cabinet not find no, out. So no, let's say for arguments. No, let's let's start that point the first. Okay, why may right. cabinet not be do their own research? Mm -hmm. Before they propose a the legislation with a value timber for two thousand five hundred, if mm -hmm. they think say because because the I, 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 I Minister of Finance and they say a mistake, they yeah. one put it under. Then for not find out that one day. And secondly, why lead way mm -hmm. decide for take t the timber? So basically, which 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 law lead way been they use for export this timber out of the country where they decide for use container right. instead of cubic meter? Because right. the, the law will be given the power for do that. Say they're not for value, they're for value, they're for pay by each cubic meter, mm -hmm. uh, um, 2,500. So if you, if you say impractical, why then do business for two good years? But that was the, that, that was my question. Say, exactly, on the same law. Why you wait for that number of term? Why you not go back now parliament quick and say, hey, this thing don't happen. No, no say, you know, error, mistake, excitement. It's a giving, okay? But it takes hundred people learn for Sidom and make that mistake. They don't mm. get blinded. Just pan lead way. They're not blind for other things, but just that one day. But let's say they make why did they not go back now parliament immediately. But you waited until you exported over two point something million cubic meters. And not to only then, but when the audits start, now that same day you say nah mistake. That's one. Well, um, Somebody they ask or there's been a repeated question, how many cubic meters, you know, constitute a container? How much cubic meters? Well, uh, 33, 33 cubic meters, nine, nine constitute... How many? 33.7 cubic meters, nine are one container. A okay. standard 20 feet container. Okay. You don't, so you were asked the question, you don't hear me? Um, for, the, that are for the European and... and not American standard. In fact, okay. some Asian standards, they can even uh, volume up to 37 cubic meters for one, for one 20 feet container. Okay. But, but these people, they, the thing I want to uh, remind them of that, even, like I say, that, that, that is the question. They, if you get rid of even the Finance Act, mm -hmm. the method of valuation in itself mm -hmm. used by Leadway mm -hmm. is outside of the law. Because right. not supposed for value by container. <laughs> I mean, you, you 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 know you know for do that. Then then that what in the weight and measures act say. So by merely using containers instead of cubic meters, leave automatically don't uh, evade paying taxes. The only reason why you do that, that smuggle is smuggle the export. You may not pay the exact tax you supposed to pay according to the law. As and, and, and and who knows how then how much they go sell. So if the international standard is cubic meters where you yeah. measure by, but then you pay container twenty foot container a, a, a price to salon, but then who don't know how much you go sell. So this is why people are saying that you know the country don't lose this amount in revenue because internationally where you go nobody no know. Now lead when a private company. You understand? I wait till they can't tell. We say then go sell. Then to container. Then then go where the law say cubic meter measure. So that that we the people of Sierra Leone lost. So even if uh, lead we go double the price, triple the price, make and ten times waiting. Then suppose for um you know we 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 still no no. So yeah. people benefit the country loss. That's the bottom line. So, yeah. The point here is that if they say for pay. For one carat diamond where they export ten thousand dollar, and you you as an exporter of diamond, you know if you pay ten thousand dollar, you know they go make profit. Why are you exporter? Mm -hmm. Why are you not for pay? Why for decide for even if this not the voting? So the mistake here is not about, but the mistake is about thing the law say. Now the people that we make the law talk say they mistake by the law. Yeah. So if you, if you mistake for in the law in the wording of the law, and at the law that one day whether you make mistake or not, basically 
So, but you don't already violate the law. <laughs> so, that, that is in that. So, whether you correct the law or you say a mistake, you don't remove the fact that this company don't deprive the country of five more than $5 billion where we for don't make according to this law. And it makes sense because when you read the finance minister's uh, statement mm -hmm. uh, in the parliament in the appropriation bill, mm -hmm. go look at the four, six paragraphs of J.J. Uh, Safari in speech. In fact, paragraph uh, five, four, and three, he talk and specifically said that they increase the timber export levy. Mm -hmm. So how you go increase timber export levy by $2,500 per cubic meter? And now we are the company we directly uh, tied to the president. Now all the ministers from the uh, chief minister now to the finance minister now to the attorney general are all the defend this private company whether it evade taxes don't don't devalue export. Mm -hmm. Are these people really serious? Right. And yeah, now we can say the mistake. Who who defrauds a country by mistake? Who are they devalue the export by the mistake? Who are they evade taxes by mistake? Is that is that so these are the things we may want for make these people within a power know. You are not going to be in office forever. All right. So, so that is not a burden for the next government. If they don't address it now, the people of Sierra Leone are within their right. We all are citizens for so demand now a probe, as we already say, into the business operations, ownership, and activities of Leadway. If this government not give me that investigation, they will for continue for demand and any time we get the next government. That will be the first thing that has to be addressed. Okay, thank you. You know, um, we want to open the phone line. At least let us see if we will give people opportunity for call in through WhatsApp. Just on WhatsApp, please. No um, direct calls. Um, then we will post the number just now so you can call and ask questions or make your contribution. And just make sure say you keep them um, civil. But Tiba, I just watch now, so I see somebody say ignorance of the law is no excuse, and that has been, you know, a standard kind saying even before we understand what in that they mean growing up. Even the post in a market when no one they march in a school, you know, master school, it's a bit of English they say ignorance of the law is no excuse. And last week we talk about that now, so on constitution matters, say where you they jump into something, you therefore try to understand better. So if you were draft the law, you will go present them to cabinet, to say you get lawyer them. And lawyer them, because of one grain, what you call them, word, can make person go jail or person save you not go jail. Not to so boy, remember we will be in small, whether they pull a story about a court. Yes. A court. So, yeah, so the magazine court a court issue. Exactly. Say now court. We see you say now court. Now say eh. so you court. The person go jail. So we get a story. They whether not just a myth or waiting for they understand. Say you get for be clear in what you they put down or what you they say. It can land you into trouble or it save you. So if you go right, big big man. These are people away don't serve na government for donkey years. People away, sabi all the book them. Most of them people here so study overseas. They all go sit on a round table. The only thing where they're able to foresee, the page, I should say that Finance Act, Mr. Ba, you know, past 20 pages. Oh, no, 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 no. Tiny, tiny, tiny. Yeah, you know, past you know, 20 pages. In 10 minutes. So the only thing where you're not able to foresee inside and are the difference between container and cubic meters. All them people, they need them blind. Then they carry the thing on a parliament as well. And Tiba, we asked this question the last time. We, you know, we like a, I was like, what is Tiba getting at? But that was very necessary to say, are they actually reading these laws? The people, the way they make them, they read them and understand. And so this time, put to so $5.5 billion, where for Bill, we 16 states of the art hospital, now all the um, uh, 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 districts there, a Bill, we. 16 universities, a bill we <laughs> all start for get lights. The one you not about could not it. You know that the equal effect of 5.5. No, but Juma, what's in that the ignorance of the law or is no excuse now because there is no ignorance of no law. Yeah, because so a mistake is not an ignorance of a law. Now it's in because it's just a deliberate mistake or. This is nothing to do with ignorance of the law. I write that document. Yeah. I should be held responsible for the mistake mm -hmm. that I made. Yeah? And if the mistake will make the cost the country, mm -hmm. then it should cost my job as well. Right. It's as simple as that. So basically, I don't say we get the right for saying that ignorance of the law. Okay. 
maybe when you say ignorance of the law, they say if, if you pass now, so you don't see the traffic lights or you don't see the road sign say no entry. Mm -hmm. You can make excuses, say, oh, I don't even see the sign. Mm -hmm. Sometimes the sign be down some side way, you never foresee them. You know, actually, visually, they're blind. But you still you can't you can't face. fine for that, you understand it? Eh? They're not yeah, but, but you can you can argue down on this small because let me tell you something now. If me car park down at the sky for move, I guess I remove a van and then a parking ticket come for can't give me tickets. And then I say, no, you can't give me ticket because I park at the park because I didn't move out. Mm -hmm. And I actually get the physical stuff in my hand mm -hmm. and you don't issue tickets already. Mm -hmm. I can defend that. Right. Because that's different. But in this case, I wrote that document. Mm -hmm. I review it. Mm -hmm. I send it to my superiors. They review that document. So they send it back happen? down to me. Like all the ministers, they, they, they send it back down to me. They mm -hmm. review it. I took it to Parliament. Mm -hmm. No, cabinet, 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 cabinet before you go Parliament. Well, I took it to Cabinet. Again, that may bring me back to the question where I say, are these parliamentarians actually reading these documents? Mm -hmm. Because not to one, not to two, not to three, not to four, not to five. Mm -hmm. Is it really a cut and paste documents where they're not even review? Mm -hmm. Because you might so and trust the person who is putting that document together and you don't even have time to read it yourself. Mm -hmm. It happens every other day. And the so basically, about, there are other documents, related documents, where if a mistake even you make on that document means that you they violate the trade, what's that, the, the trade act? The trade and measures act. Trade and measures act, where that one they say, you when measurements get for be this way for meet international standard. So, and again, that may just lead me for say in the UK we don't do pounds and ounces, we do kilos, not so. Yes. So there is no way anybody they can tell me say a mistake for put kilo uh -huh. 23 kilo, then you go say now 40, 40 pounds now my luggage. Yeah. They don't want just, to know. Exactly, just like where they, where they travel, where you want for travel, they don't want to know. know. Where they are in the UK, then they tell you say mm -hmm. now you this you bag luggage now in this if now 23 kilo. You go for people. In this point, we, we, uh, T boy, um, this one, I mean, this one we raised, so, mm -hmm. Mr. Duba, not the, not the exact point, because the idea of imperial system of, of, uh, measurement, that the British we inherit from, but even the British don't even change to, um, the metric system all over, that the global standard of measurement. Right. And we, we domesticate that one day in us alone in 2010. Right. So that I make you find out, say, now we the sell, uh, where it comes to quantity, you know, by, you know, liters and all these things. So these people, these are, these are the thing. I think, make we, make we, what do we need for this cause? Now, why these people so desperate for defend a private company? We don't deprive the people of Sierra Leone such a colossal amount of revenue. Mm -hmm. Why you defend? These are the first time we see publicly high government officials from the office of the president to the finance minister, the chief minister, and all these individuals come to the defense of the private company. Supposedly private company, we don't evade taxes. All over the world, what you do with the tax evading company, you will arrest the people, you will freeze the company's asset and undertake an investigation, but they are not willing to investigate. In right. fact, they don't, be, they don't become the spokespeople, the defenders of this company. So the, okay. it comes to what we said. Why they are doing this is because this company is not an ordinary company. It's a company that is tied to the business interest and operation of the presidency and is therefore supported mm -hmm. by his cabinet members, the finance minister. And and today, we last time we talk about, say, the law firm representing Leadway is, a, is Brewer & Co., which is the law firm of the current Attorney General Minister of Justice. Okay, It's very important for us to emphasize this. Last time we also uh, in this show we discussed how uh, uh, Libre, they even give instructions mm -hmm. to government institution, the Freetown Terminal and the Trade Ministry. Mm -hmm. We don't even see, we don't present evidence on on Senator Gem here mm -hmm. how um, uh, uh, the Trade Ministry give export license for timber to four different companies. Mm -hmm. Libre instruct to complain to the office of the president and the chief minister write the trade minister for revoke mm -hmm. the export license of these companies. Why? Leadway is doing business for the president. 
Libwe is operating for the interest of the president. And we will say that. And we will not talk say we will demonstrate this. This is not an accusation. This is what you need to be told why these people are so desperate in saying. And we will not quote the, the Auditor General. The Auditor General talks in a mistake. The Auditor General will say that is the response wait, wait. from the Ministry of Finance where they get. And the responsibility for record that one. Right. Okay, they will record them. If the Minister of Finance argues, say no, we will just put a uh, cubic meter, but I continue to put because we think say, mm -hmm. it's not practical. Mm -hmm. Why would I be put on there? So the, the, the audit service is not it's not defending you people. Right. Not that the auditor make mistake. The, now the ministry say that they make mistake. The letter that letter will not present on my Right. Okay. That was in, in, in October. So they're not in the misinterpret or not in the, in the take out of context. Right. The statement of the auditor general uh -huh. and decide for serve the young political propaganda interest. And that is that is a very dishonest, dishonest and mischievous use of a genuine statement by the audit service right. for in the process of defending this company. That, 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 that woman, that woman gets um, international credibility and integrity for protect my like professional. Yeah, you don't do that. You don't go write one thing in a document where it mean another thing. You know they make them kind of error then they because you know what it mean to Sierra Leone. So mm -hmm. you know we'll go write one thing and go talk now radio difference. Mm -hmm. So we they ask people, please, when I left that woman they suffer, we and when I read the report, when I read the report, the, the, the woman the, the, the audit the, service the, don't the, pay this is so. And now right. they all cement the response of the ministry. The question is why not the minister of finance we make the law we propose this law from cabinet and parliament person and get on the right for do this a company violator and then you defend the company okay that's right. the question we should be asking not to the business of the minister for defending so the we they can, we they can open the phone line get ready the whatsapp line um for let you make a call but mr bar why should they wait for a call there are two statements that i are where i want for law talk on relating to this timber so uh mr zubairu say he said please we have to be sincere with people juma they made the mistake, but the, the most expensive timber is $170, okay? Then I will see Mr. Zubayu say, but me on take, I want to just make example to Mr. Dubai, Zubayu. Mr. Zubayu is a health professional. <laughs> if you make that kind of mistake day, now yeah, Mr. Zubayu. You understand? For, for inject penicillin instead of chloroquine. Eh? Chloroquine, you make this. That's <laughs> why I'm just making that simple example. Then you go, you look at the patient in chat. Then tell you, say, you see now the chat, the chat right say chloroquine injection. The way you grab, you feel say na wait na the other way, na chlorophenicol injection. I put C, another word with that. <laughs> Then you go inject, then you tell them, say, now mistake, you mistake. Tell me what would happen to you, you license, and you profession. If you make mistake. So that was just one, but anyway. Because, you, but I think, I think it raised a question we deserve some kind of a discussion as well. Right. What is, what is the global index price of exactly. timber? Exactly. But I stand at that standard yeah. was so, you, the, you, the, you point, given a standard. That price, price. that price, where they were the goods, so see, one two 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 the seller and the other uh, America. So what they are dealing with, they are not dealing. They are not talking about that index. What they look at, so mm -hmm. uh, the index of 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 processed already finished process. Not the way then they when they just cut from salon they would sell food. Right. That's what they, what they look at. Now, um, in the subsequent article also, we not only intend for sure. Uh, we got for going to these calculations and and value the different grades of timber. You can look at the, the closest way for look at now, look at the Canadian, um, because in the Western Hemisphere, Canada mm -hmm. is supposed to be the highest um, trader when it comes to timber and timber related products. Okay, you look at global index price, you find out, say, these people already deceive now for talk, say, uh, $100 in the sale. So the value of a timber thing depends on the kind of product that is produced out of it. You wouldn't get your value. Right, because so the timber they and it yeah, different. yeah, to yeah. The, 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 the wood, they determine the kind of uh, uh, things we will produce from uh, the mahogany or different kind of woods there. They yeah. produce different kind of furniture and different right. kind of other uses. So that one we talk about global index price. Now the only commodity, now the only uh, uh, forestry commodity this way 
for the last 15 to 15 to 20 years now, you don't get a slump in price. In fact, in price just to go up. Mm, you don't have that. That, that, that a different discussion. But now we more enter into that kind of discussion. We are ready to enter into that kind of. But that discussion is immaterial. You know, even relevant to what we talk about now, yeah? because we are talking about not to what in the sell timber in America or Asia. Or, we are talking about what an exporter of timber is supposed to pay to Sierra Leone. Okay. Yeah, according to the laws. According to the laws. Yeah. Okay, now we will talk so, about and why somebody will choose to follow that law. Just say, Mr. Barr, just but for Awamek will enter into a debate around the the value of timber at the international market. Wallahi, we're ready for entering that discussion. And if we enter that kind of discussion, the problem will not have to in the saloon. Because okay. then people then, where they, where they go cut this wood in the bush, and then they begin to take the power saw and begin to run after one of the power saw. We'll do that kind of conversation because they will see how they don't rogue. <laughs> And not how to run a door over there, but apart from this, no say self this thing. Let's calculate the the consequences of this kind of uh, business operation as alone. The environmental disaster, eh? The impact of vegetation is is it worth in fact the amount of money that we're talking about? We talk about mudslide. Yeah, we talk mudslide about mudslide and people focus but on. If you lead way now, I'm, we are putting it. I want you to put it for say lead way and all these officers and other people. Now, what make we carry with statistics regarding? The grade and and quality of timber in different parts of the world will begin from the from the Asian market to the North American market, and we we'll use Canada as a, as a closer example for the kind of we don't, this is all research. We don't do that. We, where do you think I'm up? We don't exhaust me and my team. We don't exhaust that. We are not. Um, we try for make sure say uh, for every discussion. We know say when I get for come to this level, and we prepare for that. And if I want make we enter day, when I bring when I when I start a we can we can carry a beginner. <laughs> we're ready for that. Now go to um please, Mr. Palmer, if you're able for post the number, that would be great. Uh, the phone number. Okay. Um, another thing I just want for help, uh, Mr. Zubayu, say, let's say, I make don't say, let's say it's an error, it's a sincere mistake. Okay. There is a way for go around for correct that mistake day. Yeah. You know, for wait until then come for car audit you. That means you're not doing your job. In the first place, if you be the do your job regularly, where you like, I, you know, the reason maker they use the health sector for make an example, your guide, what you do every day before you administer treatment or everything is to reference your guidelines, your treatment guidelines, you understand, your policy and procedure. Now you Bible that one the way you get, okay, that's what guides you. So if the people now. What are key? Then measure as he could have mentioned, say, measure, say, 2.2 million metric uh, cubic meters, nine and all exports. So if as he could have measured, Dandy, then Una Sena by container. Who is fooling who? Exactly, exactly. You see, you see these why, are the kind of questions they will for Why not report as container? Why not report as, as container? container? Because you know the you know the value you know go cubic meters. You know go you know go na 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 Japan. You go pin down container way full of of timber. Mm. The documentary provider for show the kind of wood, the the, the quality, the, the the length, the measurement, everything right. that for the in order. Right. Otherwise, you know they no go pro, because the, them people they need that statistics day right. for make for make them, them also report how many import. Don't come inside the country from different parts of the world, and then right. then you just trace statistics. So when they fake the figures in the salon, they don't fake internationally, which right. is why people that data is so crucial. Is so crucial. You know, so let's not just water down this thing. Um, five point five billion dollars. May I he continue to explain? It's not the figure alone. Would that T farm would that benefit? Now waiting if we don't benefit salon. Not to walk in talk now. So say, oh, salon we gently, but the people put this that. How can someone be dying because you not get oxygen machine? Okay, we have a first caller. Caller. Uh, hello, caller. Um, now on mute. Um, Mr. Palmer, I think we have a caller there. Hello, caller. Are we are we ready for our caller? Hello. Yeah, hello, caller. Can you hear us? If you there, we just continue for. Um, yes, I can hear talk. you. We go. Um, we hear you. No wait for yeah. listen to the um for you yourself on Facebook. No, just continue. Hello. 
Okay. Yeah. This time, I'm sorry, so you didn't be able to talk. Um, Hello, are you there, Kola? I'm so you didn't be able to talk. Yes, I'm there. I'm going to your name. Ibrahim Soi Dumbuya, this is Ibrahim Soi Dumbuya, the talk. Yeah, Mr. Dumbuya, yeah, go ahead, sir. Uh, this, yes, I want to make um, some, something very clear. People will misunderstand the statement of um, the Attorney General and the Auditor General of 98. There are two things that are not a mistake as to the calculation of the 5.5 .5 billion. Now, mistake as to what you assume of the law. And we all know say the attorney general has the expertise for determining mistake in law. So, so people will get them clear, say the calculation was correct, but it also assumes, say, that they make mistake in the law. But I mean, this is common as law. How law we don't go to stages, first stages, second stages, then they make a mistake on just only flat paper of Finance Act. Secondly, one thing we say the Attorney General then was the effort in day for advice the cabinet and the minister and the, the, the president and say this thing gets error before ratify my parliament. I mean, it's undone. Let me all let me say no to selective um, fight against corruption. So the basic thing is the calculation was correct, but the uh, Auditor General make a statement as to me. I mean, that's not just my own contribution. All right, thank you so, so much, Mr. Ibrahim Sori Um Of course, now some of the issues then that we don't discuss here, that, you know, how the Attorney General Office not able for advice before because this is a legal document you know making cost with so much more than 5.5 .5 billion so this again come to the question is this a mistake or is it deliberate because there was another thing we don't see say the present attorney general i don't know if i'm in there at the time but in farm nine they represent the 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 the, the leadway company in your own private farm Nine are the legal representative body for Leadway. We don't know whether Nine be there as, uh, as uh, Attorney General at the time, but we know say there are people who work in that family. Hello, caller. Hello. Yes, caller. All right. Will it try to get you connected? Hello? Yes, caller. Hello? Yeah, we hear you loud and clear. Okay, uh, how are they do? They do very well. Uh, my own contribution. Okay, my own contribution. My own, uh, well, this is Julius to call from Frisa. All right, Julius, go ahead. Okay. Uh, my own contribution to us is uh, five point. Four eight billion dollars. We, the Auditor General's report say a missing in this country. But if really we sincere to myself, this person you not know, even needs to tell you say a blatant mistake be made. You know, the thing just very clear. Let me just look at the entire society. If you blend all the businesses in this country. They're not able to give you a billion dollars in a year investment. So the only advice for they give people for people live, so people in this country, more especially civilians then, when we come on social media, now we be very sincere with stocks away with the send out there. Yes, you can get your malice, you get your thinking towards uh causing. But let we learn for the speak sincerely. You know, okay. this person you not know, even need the auditor general not even need for tell me say mistake they happen. As I get that figure, based on how we don't study this country, how this country be done the move, it's not possible we get investments in this country able to give you a billion dollar, not to mention five point something billion dollars in a year. 
Okay. So this is not for you to be argument. You know, for the, the, the auditor general don't go in the media. He don't talk say the thing that a very uh, 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 honest mistake they do. All right, Mr. Julius, thank you so much. But let me just ask you one question before you they go. You say blatant yeah. mistake. I just want for correct, right? Yeah. Blatant mistake, not one way hide. Now, one way you they see. So what do you do and if you make blatant mistake? Then go thief. Like no, the, 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 the auditor general, let me, let me make this thing clear. The auditor general don't make anything bad. He go with 20 days inside the law. But me, they just say, no, police the outside of even the law. You say, say, you come on say. No, you, you know what you're talking about? No, no, no. You, no, no. You, no, you get, no, no. You get, you get things then. No, wait. You get, you, you get more good things then that the, uh, they, they can pass in the parliament. Why you can amend certain laws? Now, because that you see, see, see this particular law, you get some problems. Thank you so much. Join the chat group. We'll yeah. listen to a lot of other caller. Thank you, Mr. Julius. We appreciate you. Hello, another caller there on the line, I think. All right, so we don't lose that caller there. Um, let's continue. Uh, Mr. Bag, oh, we don't have another caller. Hello, caller. Hello, caller, are you there? So the caller, they come in and they clash, clash. Hello, caller. Hello? Yeah, hello, hello, caller. Hello? Yeah, hi. Your yeah, name hello? and go ahead with your contribution quick, please. Yeah, thank you. Um, Adams here. Um, this is Adam. Uh, um, Adams, how are you? I don't Welcome. follow the, the, the program, of course. Very well, very well, Juma. Thank you. Um, I want to appreciate uh, my brother and uh, the program today, Cheruba, for an exceptional um, expose in this issue. Because not to um, we all get to kind of know the facts as to how um, um, they sell with him. You know, people they call, they try for give blank justification as to where the error is, a mistake, somebody they ask, uh, somebody they call you know, a toxic, um, blatant mistake, or whatever um, um, adjective way he used. The thing where we they fail for understand, and I listened to Lara Taylor in, in, in interview now, and she was, she was quite clear. There is, there is no mistake in the calculation what you make. It go exactly as to what in the law say, what in the requirements of the act, of the act itself, as for section three, of the, uh, of, of, the, of the finance act. So who said the mistake is? And, and me, in a way, I, I, I probably want for even to say, blame Lara Small. That um, as at the time when they send the response, we then tell and say, well, they notice say, and there was an error on the draft. Fair enough. Let's okay. Let's for once our team say there was an error, right? But we don't see in Sierra Leone who side government did the table a certificate of emergency for either bring an act or for get some things done ASAP. The quantum of the timber where they said don't tell we say then preempt the, 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 the this, this whole thing was a pre plan. They be don't say this thing will for happen. But they allow for the timbers to be sold at that quantum, two million something cubic meters um, timber where they sell. Hoping that, say, when the public or this thing will get for can leak, they will rely on this mistake. Say, oh, now be a mistake where we be don't notice. But you knew there was a mistake. Why we not rectify before we proceed with sale? But you know, now there we go. They will get a sole source in person. Go get and go sell on behalf of the state. Of the state. Usa me the Usa me probably thinks that Lara could have done a, a, a gone a bit further. Now the fact that if for don't ask the company, other than are the people who they sell to, how much they sell, what are the quantum of timber who they sell to then this? Going by the, the by the Asakuda record. Well, then we know it, it, that's the way to cost I think say Lara in your role now for you know, say waiting government say present waiting day day then he left now to government if government truly sincere for fed corruption we will feel say for the fact force that you monopolize the license of timber to one person then they force na a liberal market like Sierra Leone. you don't deprive so many other people you don't deprive the country of opportunities I, I, because sometimes somebody else for being yeah. sell with timber 
to another country where for pay more, we benefit because until that person therefore we don't count that option there. So there are so many ways to look at this. Lara, not to in just put what in the day. No, no, I, I, I understand. Yes. I understand completely. I understand completely. But but this, this, that means like I'm sure and others they say for us as mm -hmm. citizens, we will continue for demand for further investigation. Make we get right. onto the people over themselves to make we know precisely what is the quantum that was sold, the quality of timber. Now, like Salon, where the big Salon, they get different scales of boat. You get the money boat, you get this boat, every one of them get a single price. It cannot just be a blanket price for every one of them. It cannot. But unfortunately, the unfortunate thing for we here is the fact that the, the parliament itself, when I then get the constitutional mandate for oversee the Auditor General's report, they themselves, they have found one thing. In one mm -hmm. of the reports, I think it's page um, 453 or thereabouts, when they talk about parliament, um, UNDP money would then give parliament for some facilitation, uh, some $98,000, where they're not able to account for. The Auditor General writes to them to make them give a report as to how they expend the money. The disrespectful reply would then give to the, to the office that the party make them contact the UNDP when they respond to the event for, 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 for records. All right, thank you so much. Was collected so on in the name of Caller, don't come in. We appreciate okay. you very much. Hello, Caller. Hello. All right, we call out the guy for connect. Mr. Ba, you, I hope you take notes. You get for response to them calls here. So, hello, caller. Are you there? Hello. Caller, if you there, you with the. Hello. Hello, caller. Are you there? Anyway, it looked like you don't lost that call a day. Um, we uh, continue for make you call. Mr. Ba, come in quick and you know, I give a couple of contributions. There are the three comp contributions. If you can make, um, respond I to think, those guys. I think the, the, the fact of the matter is people are, are happy that we distinguish between the way they call mistake because people in field state, the auditor general, and I write the mistake. A mistake will be the right. Like, if you want to write five million, if you yeah. write five million, no, no to that too. It basically worked out the calculation by the existing law. Now right. the government they argue saying that they make law by mistake. You right. know that that will go for it. This no means say Libya not export that volume of of, of uh, uh, timber. No, mm -hmm. but what do you mean for commit for tell people that that we are very serious. See, the the same uh, energy and time we will take for expose for first highlight this thing before it become part of an audit report or now people say an audit report. We also mm -hmm. determine. For talk about I read this uh, with previous caller talk about for trace the sales of this year that record they are available. We oh, so, oh, so you get you when I get the record. We get the record of sales. <laughs> <laughs> so you get the record of sales. <laughs> Hello caller. All right, we, we lose that caller day. Go ahead, sir. I just want to assure we uh, uh, people really follow me that the records of lead with the operation, including sales, returns, and you know statements, we will not promise now. Uh, Sarah James say we will disclose the 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 proceeds of this process when they call mistake. Why should people say this is what I call mistakes? So, but not jump to inside. We show them one by one. You don't understand. And we we not make one and other mistake. We defend the mistake, mistake, mistake. We don't say. It hard for belief. We, from when we start this discussion from October, it hard for belief. Say we country get this amount, can get capacity for generate such revenue if we if we implement the laws that we can pass in the parliament. So then people that we, we make this tax legislation, then not only write and then defend in the parliament. Why then decide for increase the levy? Now that's me to tell people that. So my if question, if just, my question based on the people. last caller, um, Adam Singh call. So is this one of the patterns of corruption? Say, of course, of let, let we add one thing I add then, yeah. after we don't bail full, then tomorrow we can say no, but no, they're not, they're not be expect, say, people who, who know about this thing, okay? Mm -hmm. If if this thing will not be make a public discussion, they're not for write that letter. The letter where they write mistake, now, now, we, now where they don't look, they don't see we don't catch it. Now, okay. for, now let's go and catch it for no more. Hey, no, I enter my call. Yeah. Hello, caller. Hello. Yeah, hello. Yes, call out. Yeah, hello. Tell me your name. Yes, please. Go ahead. Yeah, Continue. now I'd like to call. I mean, I'd like to call. 
Yes, now something I just want to make clear when people and they argue, but like we think, brother Cherno say this. Um, it clearly they tell we say the the leadway company will not be the work according to the law because yeah. if the if it be work according to the law, then then for be don't rectify the mistake as how they say if a mistake because if it for be doing first trip. Then he goes, he say, the, according to the law, what did tell her? He, 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 he come out. If I go back to the one the way we authorize the thing, or we put the law, go tell them, say, well, this year, no, I know they see income, or me money, no, they come out. If you be do that day, if you be work according to the law, then all, all these mistakes, within the claims and mistakes, if for them, if for, if for be don't be clear. So, like, as waiting, brother, you no, know, say, we the people of Sierra Leone with the old leadway company to, uh, to account and anybody will defend them for we five point five billion dollar we we them for give because you know be work according to the law. If you be work according to the law, all this will be then for be don't see unclear if not be mistakes. Now only way them tell and say that this uh, you don't hold for the country then the, the government now they defend and say oh na mistake now we do the mistakes. If you be work according to the law, as I have the continuously re repeater, the mistakes are for us and clear. Not to wait and tell and say that this is for pay, then later I go see a mistake. Right. So now this is a contribution. Okay. Wow, I just want to make to, uh, so clear to that other brother we be the same. Okay. Uh, oh, nah, All right. Thank you so much, Abdullahi. We appreciate you. Um, hello, Cole. Are you there? Hello? Kola, if you're there, are you there? You there? Hello? Hello? Kola. Hi, Kola. Hello? And uh, some people here inside network um, na issue, uh, but we will continue for bringing our call. The calls them as they come in. Hello, Kola. Hello, caller. If you did it, hear you. All right. Um, once we get the call, we go able for answer. Yeah, Mr. Ba, you be the uh, um, express um, and react to what's in the calls that they say. Go ahead, sir. No, I think say um, we don't we don't already um, see say as the last caller say at the bottom line of the whole conversation that you only talk about mistake after a way we don't. You know, they don't catch you. Say you don't already violate the law. So the the question remains: which law lead we be depend on for undertaking business, mm -hmm. and which law they use for assess and pay the taxes we then pay? Which law give them the right for value timber export by container? There is no law. Right. No, no law. No, they will give them that right today. Right. You know that no law. No say that for sell. Then they don't okay. argue for say. Okay. Call, caller. Hello. Uh, the caller, they can't they, they double cross themselves. So go ahead, caller. We, uh, hello. Are you there? All right. Um, it, it, they call and they drop for some reason. Sorry, Mr. Bar. We keep cutting. But what other people have make their contribution? Hello, caller. Hello, caller. Are you there? All right, say your name, we, we connect, um, and then continue. Hello, Cole, are you there? Hello? Yeah, go ahead. Uh, hello? Hello, Juma? Yeah tell, yeah, tell me your name, and then continue. Yes, I'm um, with my Honorable Fofi from London, Juma. Yeah, yes. Juma, I just want to make it clear because people then continue for the blame parliament, the blame. Let we people then left the blame game. Let we concentrate on the issue. The issue now, yeah, Lara make it clear. Lara no make no mistake. Lara in calculation quite correct. But because the non this amount now, I mean, they pay in the problem, now I make the, 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 the government they say that they mistake by the law. If they mistake by the law, Therefore, we don't raise, raise them before now. Because the audit period, Juma, 
They ask them for the response, they respond. The audit get period, they're not just two and one week, now about a month or so this audit take. So if the mistake be done, they don't, don't create that. No mistake, no did it. Because the mistake what they want claim say now, because then 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 they, 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 they don't change the law, see, then for the one by court, you're not going to buy a No, 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 no. That is not correct at all. Because what in a case of parliament, a parliament debate, now that's parliament debate. What in parliament debate so now they lag a calculate so. So they're not mistake at all. Then all so people, salon people, and I'm only there for a member of yeah. parliament, right? And yeah. I'm glad the way you go yeah. because so you they say, law not blame parliament. Parliament, not so then they make now waiting and can go to then the debate. It's not so. Now in debate, now in debate, so now in the debate, so when the debate and the first time to law, and I want you to the law, now the law, now I look, now I calculate the amount. Now, now then they're watching and carrying a parliament, they mistake. But parliament don't be not for it. Because when they know you the initiate law, the agency may want the law, now they do the law with law officers and they do the draft. They can't go parliament. Parliament does the debate term for judicially evidence they make it become law. When I wait in them once, waiting them be present to parliament, and parliament approves so now they lie that take it calculates. Mm -hmm. So now if then they say they mistake, because it's not to call you parliament, it go to cabinet. It go to law officials department before it go to parliament. Parliament to the final waiting and call, they accept them. Then go with them back, then look them. If they mean no same mistake they did, then for them go with them back in the parliament before the transaction starts. But why they don't do the transaction done? They don't take a while, they don't audit. And I remember this timber business, Mr. Bobby, they come up with this thing long before now, before the audit come up here. So it's not a mistake to man, why they not be done correct and before the audit even come up? Mr. Bobby don't come up with this thing way before now. So do my let them left for full salon people. Let we left the blame game. Corruption in our country, not about party, not about say alone. Say alone didn't have the money, not about party. They may blame the last government, eh, corruption, corruption. Now corruption don't come now with fruit now. Let me tell you now, if you be the other people then, when make corruption, I must share a go. This now then are you fruit now, please, one for please. And look at the anti-corruption. This one a very important issue the money involved. Too much as you say, say okay, what you like I go in, what you know say, the figure we like I do, okay, let me see. But if I take the exact timber price in the market and calculate what in and sell so and still all salon people about two hundred and something million dollars. Juma. Let me talk about that the anti corruption or even mention that in the open laptop business when I just small money. What kind of nonsense is it's so concentrate by the big money. It's a big money. Uh, thank, thank you. Thank you so much, Anaibu. Thank you, sir. Anaibu for me, when I be member of parliament, don't can't tell me, say, how parliament is work. You were one for make law. Now you, they carry the law, go, now parliament. Parliament debate up. And that debate was not take one day. So if not a mistake, you make never pick up your own mistake. All in the same day. So law not blame parliament and Lara at all, at all. And let we focus on the issue. Are we, do we have another call? Are you the candy logo? Hello? Yeah, hello, caller. Yes, I'm here. Yeah, go ahead. Tell us your name and make your contribution, please, your, or your question if you have one. Continue. All right. Thank you? you very much. Um, thank, thank you very much, Juma. Uh, my, na my name is Ibrahim Koroma. I don't follow the discussion. Um, I, I come late, but um, something they very important way I think say we need to make clear so people can go understand. One, when they talk about a law, we go through processes before it become law. I go want to take small time for explain let ordinary people they understand certain things. Then one, now the law when they refer to say now a law we get a mistake. Now, law we don't do from 1988. This law don't go through amendment. It don't go through stages. 10 to 20, 2018, July 2018. In, in, in 1988, this law not mention anything about container. It say cubic meters. In, they wouldn't change the law, wouldn't amend them in 19, in 2008. It not get nothing for do with container. 
He said cubic meters. In 2018, they changed them back. This present parliament, they not mention nothing we therefore do with container. They say cubic meters. So now, how the law they become law? Somebody begin that explanation is just but I want to give a detailed uh, uh, explanation. The government agency or department, in this case, the Ministry of Agriculture, Forestry, and Food Security, now then they're in charge of 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 the, of the timber forest. Together with the Ministry of Finance, then decide in 2008. So amend the law. What did they amend the law say? Because NRA come under the old law, the 1988 law, NRA revenue day. Where NRA come, the National Revenue Authority, government give National Revenue Authority all the right for collect money on behalf of government. All right. So in 19, 2008, when they change the law, they change the law to the effect that now NRA now, they collect the money when they get from FIBA. Okay. And they increase the money. They set the, the price at 1,500 for every cubic meter. Right. We were exporters. Then, certain other things that they will take place between 2008 to 2018, including government international commitment. Because of their commitment in the end, 10 years later, in 2008-2018, government decided to, the same Ministry of Finance, that decided to go out okay, because of their commitment they hold on this, now we increase that money day. Now we increase that money from 1,500 to 2,500. Right. And they increase the money in that same way. So what they do now, sir, they change the whole entire section. When they change the entire section now, they put a new section say not to NRA for pay, but the money now not to tax anymore. Then they call a royalty. Now like a you they pay royalty for mining. Right. And at the same change with the change, they they say my cubic meter is a pay by. They pay by container. There's nothing like container. Okay. So once you reach to that stage, you understand? The Ministry of Agriculture, Ministry of Finance, they get together. They go to cabinet, cabinet approve them, they take this draft, they can go to, to, to Ministry of Justice, Ministry of Justice draft, you know, they can go back to them, then to agent there. Yeah. They approve them, say, okay, then this will be one. After that, cabinet approve, after that, they take them out, they go to parliament. Parliament discuss them. They get on parliament discuss them together. When parliament discuss them, parliament pass them, you know, they take them out to play with them. President take me down and say, okay, well, this, uh, this is what I want to say, inside. So, now that process is the kick. There is no mistake. There is right. no mistake. That was the intention of government, and that's not the law. And I just want to say one more thing. When a law has been made, when a law has been made, it remains a law until it is amended. So, as far as that law is concerned, it doesn't matter what the ministry, what in the ministry of, of of agriculture or ministry of finance or Lara Tilopias they talk about. Right. It is the law until it is changed. Babani, Kamara, Leadway, and the ministry of finance and whosoever involved in the exportation, dealing, and management of timber, that's alone. They are all the people of Sierra Leone, five point four eight billion dollars. That is what we know, and that is the fact. It will not change. But any proposition say in 2021 they will change the law. Even if they change it in 2021, that money is owed and due to the people of Sierra Leone. They never pay them. And we need to continue to put pressure on this particular government that they have to pay. They have to account for that money. It's public money. They okay. cannot use the word excuse. They cannot use a word like mistake. You understand? Uh, for remedy... Yeah. The, the fact that they have done something which is very, very bad. It's not right. broadly theft, broad day, thief, 90s.
We appreciate you. Um, we, we will take another caller, and I'm sure you know that's just continue for cement. Um, chain of bars, African Express, them application argument on this. Hello, caller. Hello, yeah, tell me your name and who say you the call from, please. Uh, this is Aliu, I call from London. Good evening, okay. please. Good evening to you. Make you quest uh, questions or a contribution? Well. Now both, now both of that. All right, go ahead. <laughs> yes. Um, me on contribution, uh, good evening to now. Good evening, Terno. Uh, me on contribution now uh, uh, about um, the parliament. I think we get an issue with we parliamentarians in the sense we parliamentarians, they're not robust enough for checkmate with government so that they go face corruption. In the sense, um, parliamentarians then now subject them to political parties and then they pay this service to the city government. Um, without doing this, how then go get symbol again to go to parliament? I think these are some of the issues that will be faced with corruption in the country. Um, lawmakers, they're not they're up to the task. And Hence, what do they see right now in a salon? I make the SLPP uh, mother bill government no go sit down by an opposition becomes um, majority and uh, speak in a parliament because things are not going to work well for the government as opposed to what do they see now the Western area. Um, the question now will go to Cherno because I don't know if really we parliament they get any institution where they able to checkmate to them. Because we know about them brown and below up here where they cross a parliament for let them go. I mean, the certain laws that we go there in favor of a sitting government. Let's say we do they talk about this timber gate right now. This now is saga we go legal on for some time where is no solution not to get for come out of it as long as parliament, parliamentarians are involved. But now my question to Cherno is, would that then actually the checkmate parliamentarians to them, especially when parliamentarians to them flout the law, do you know they work to the interest of the country, rather, as we know, parliament, parliamentarians are very partisan, they support a party and the government of the day, especially if you know, a government of their own political party, because it will okay. be very difficult for them, we see in Africa, parliamentarians to them, where they work against a teaching government, let's say, an opposition hold on to parliament while another party hold on to the executive. Thank okay, you. thank you so much. We appreciate that question and contribution. And uh, Mr. Bai, you don't hear that question for you. I don't know if there's another call quick coming in. Possibly we'll take two more calls and then we will stop. Um, is there a call in? Not yet. All right, Mr. Bai, go ahead, quickly respond. And then if any call coming, we'll take just two, then we'll try for end the program. Go ahead, sir. Well, me, me can always say that, um, yeah, I, I can understand why, but I think the call from um, Honorable Kofi, right? Kofi. Kofi. Now, very uh, important important question. In, in previous conversations, I me don't talk to where people they accuse Parliament of corruption and all that. Most of that corruption is induced by cabinet, okay, the executive uh, branch of government. I think say citizens for make parliament work if we think say parliament not able for work by demanding, calling with individual MPs now constituencies and ask them say this is now what in the money we, you know it can happen in them country uh, um, constituents they put demands upon their own uh, representatives and tell them say that this we want and this we want so where you put in a parliament it, but we, we really get vibrant MPs um, even within uh, SLPP you see Honorable Tawa Conte. You see um, Hassan Breeze, you know, all of these people, they raise critical questions. Uh, Honorable Mara, who I've been getting on a show last time. Yeah. Uh, so these are individual people. So we, we, we voters get for the support, citizens get for the support, parliamentarians, by putting forward with demands um, to them and also uh, tell them some of the issues the way they affect we. Now this, now this, I think, say, Parliamentarians also for try for go outside of this whole idea of engagement just on the basis of oversight because most of them they pay attention to oversight and even the con the constituency meetings 
but that for able to meet with our constituents and also collect, do research, and know about the entity they are, and uh, bring them forward in the parliament. And in some cases, parliamentarians will also step outside of the parliamentary debate and begin whole uh, conferences, press conferences, and talk about some of the issues they are to, to parliament. Like now, uh, we all don't learn they are from Honorable Fofi regarding the procedure and process through which the Finance Act passed in the parliament. Because now we, we don't talk about and say, this is a legislation where the finance ministry discussed in the cabinet in, in, in the, and pass and through the law officers department draft and present in the parliament and go through first reading, second reading. So for me, a parliamentarian come and endorse and, and explain the same thing to me is so important. I think say parliament go, parliamentarians go do themselves a lot of favor or help by coming out to the public, holding press conferences and talk about some of the issues that we don't say feel say uh, they happen where they're not, where they're not um, satisfied with and they're not okay with. Other parliamentarians they do another part of the of the world. The, the, the method of engagement. Now we get a generation, um, a technology generation. This technology generation one that represents so then they know how to make democracy work. And at that Sarah they 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 implement so the the use of new media for provide um, an open democratic space in a, in a situation which I, uh, what we know as media now has been cloned and co-opted. We see the, the cocktail, we see the uh, retreat. This is not the first time in the history of Saloon where we get 70 journalists go on an outing with the government. They say they, discuss, they go discuss failures and successes of the new direction. Only for better come on now, they can get Christmas present, present of this monumental corruption. So. The kind, the kind enthusiasm we then go with Nabo, then for the, then for put time in this. So parliamentarians also for begin to understand the new technology of engagement and change that a method of engagement. Not just parliamentary debate. Like a whole press conferences, two, three parliamentarians can come out, hold whole press conferences and talk about, you know, this is what is happening. For example, the, the communities we don't suffer from deforestation as a consequence right. of this timber logging. Then parliamentarians in that area they for write a petition. Um, to the Minister of Finance for handle this issue, and for also invite the Minister of Finance or so they can hold press conference, and at this we want for do. We then present a motion at Parliament, they agree the debate, and they can hold press conference. That is not a contempt of Parliament. It's not a violation of. It's a democrat. It's an extension of right. uh, parliamentary representation and voice. Exactly, because that's another rep representation. So parliamentarian, the need for understand the tactics, strategy, and method of democratic participation. Not just not the, not the well of parliament, but we want to talk. The speaker say, "No, five minutes only now for talk." Mm. You know, you can you can have one hour with with, with the media on your own if you want. Well, so, we can always tell us say you get hours in abundance. If I don't exactly, spend the one day, exactly, exactly. you are more than welcome. So, you know, so we are ready and willing to host them. I make I can always underline the significance of the kind of work where Sarah Gem and similar platforms in the do because now we find out in a saloon. We don't arrive at a, at a, a situation where there is a whether the journalists want for you read that or not. We colleagues then many of them now are under the capture of the state. You don't understand, and and it's a pitiful situation because that know they improve the media, you know they better the condition. At the end of the investment conference for the media, nobody's going to invest in the situation where, you know, you have that kind of situation. The media no need uh, for lobby government, for for be you know good friends of the state. There are there are alternative means of engagement and 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 support we they get by standing for democratic perspective. But then a different discussion. I wish we can get a own conference to talk about we win at the state of the media in a saloon, mm -hmm. how we for ensure an independent media. And then we well I think say this kind of work, it not only expose the politician around our saloon, it expose also the hidden agents of the media, hidden agents of the corrupt politicians within media and civil society, which right. is what I enjoy most. So parliamentarian would deepen that kind of uh, engagement by also stepping outside of the well of parliament and begin engage citizens directly, begin making their voices heard. Then I want recommendation, I think. So we for also support them for do that by making our demands known to them. Okay. Uh, thank you so much. We appreciate that. Um, we not get time for go into all the other conversation, them, the issue of the um, uh, COVID uh, real-time audit. If you get just 30 seconds, we want for Rob Morton, Dandy, because we see laptop there. You mentioned earlier, the 1997 laptop, HP laptop, then appear from nowhere. So <laughs> I see somebody, I said a job lot, then they go take Nakin Jimmy all of a sudden, because... Then we say real time audit, and we've been seeing the attorney general in 
in, in, in letter will be right, you know, stopping the yeah. auditor general, let them not carry the audit service, let them not continue with the work because they say it will hamper everything they do. So they had all three months for make sure, say, they present all them uh, um, laptop, the 50 kV generator, and all the billions of uh, um, Leons, you know, we don't go missing or we're unable to account for. But they waited until the auditor reports come out before we yeah. see. Um, I call them some kind of Fangadama laptop, they appear, Fangadama meaning all kind of color, mix up, mix up, you know, appear on site. What do you have to say about that, sir? No, in, in, in quick, I think, say, now we don't get the opportunity for test. Uh, these are the real test for the Anti-Corruption Commission. We tell the Anti-Corruption Commissioner, say, the real test mm -hmm. regarding in actual commitment to the fight against corruption is about to come. And it hasn't really, really started, but it's not. Yeah, but sorry, it's I think we'll call for you. Sorry, we'll go for take that call. Day. Hello? Hello? Yes, Hello, um, Mr. Bansoy Dumba again. Uh, Mr. Yes, Mr. Bansoy Dumba again. Call from, sir. Uh, the call from South Africa, Johannesburg. Okay, welcome. And continue again with you, uh, uh, um, with your question or comments, please. Yes, yes. Um, we still talk about um, this audit report. Okay. Um, thankfully, honourable Fofi make a very salient points with a very good way to talk about which part of the report will be more paramount and get more prominence to the ACC for investigation. I think the lead way come this issue of the timber, I think the 5.5 .5 billion for the more paramount to get more prominent for investigate rather than for go investigate a laptop, although it, the crime has been committed already. But however, within the field, say the first press release for commerce with regards to the, the auditor's general report, now for make a press release inviting Babadi for let himself explain as to the allegations for beginning to defend Babadi on the issue. I mean, now a registered company, they run. We're in a lead way. So calling on them and tell, them, tell Babadi for let like five billion, a more more get uh, and prominent and a more serious and great than the 47 uh, uh, laptops. Then the issue of the 47 laptops where you just lost that, I mean, this is common, the crime has been committed already. So bringing the 47 laptop after we render the report to um, parliament for actions to be taken after the debate, then they bring a now come off. I mean, this basically an a joker. So automatically, they, sh they should be used for an exhibit. Then they now automatically turn as an exhibit for prosecute the people so extreme. We actually be no ID because you see nexus between the act and the intention, say they coincide. Say they then we get an ill intention if they're not being on yeah. I don't believe say the the ACC for just take their laptop then they and give back. They use them now as an exhibit for prosecute the people and because the act itself has been committed. Whether yeah. damage was caused, damage was not caused, it's not, it will not be also. Okay. No, right. thank, no thank you so sympathy, much. You know, get, I'm trying to get sympathy, you know, get so many. Right. So, now that angle, we want for dialect government to look into that, and this is a test case of the ACC. Because we're yeah. ready for watch, right, and do your advocacy in your way. Yeah. Thank you. All right, thank you so much again for calling. Uh, Mr. Ba, you know, you're in our call, and they say, uh, it just bought us what you said. It's a test case for the STC, and um, their laptop, then they will come up here. So, for use them as um, exhibit, because one thing we possibly people they fail to understand that when you did, oh my goodness, okay, we don't get one more call. We'll go take this call, though, we, 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 we cancel the phone line. Hello, caller. Yeah, uh, we they try for connect that caller. Day. So, one way that Hello, caller, are you there? Hello? Uh, we hear you, caller. Tell me your name and who are you the call from, please. 
Hello? You get me? Yeah. You hear me? Yeah, go ahead. Tell me your name and you and yeah. say the call. Yeah, from. yeah, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, we are unable to fulfill again, Juma. I come back because it's an issue and a burning issue there. Juma, like they read now some platform, they see that go back take all the computer they crank on a CCTV, they stop the work of Nakova. Do Juma, it's sad, very, very sad. You know, let we learn for make with people let they suffer. If we not left for make people and they suffer, believe you me, in every kind of wealth people they accumulate, believe you me, the wrath of God will flash them. Because they don't be need all this. Juma, the audit, as I said, the audit period at the top from the point of an accountant, the committee of an accountant. Juma, the audit period only take two or three days no more. That's such a period. So if they ask for a laptop computer, the auditor will ask for to bring all the laptop to me. Show me inside the laptop, then they show me who that they use them. The auditor they will be making for go see and they don't need for pull them that the side they will push that tell too much. They don't need because when the auditor they go identify assets, then the people they will send. If you tell the auditor say three laptops then that office that will get you, the auditor will go to go see them, it ain't working order. What you got the actions for bundle all them laptops here, Duma, can work on a SCC, stop the work, what they for do. It don't make sense, Duma. It don't make no sense. But it is sad for say now you get step people and back the BFS on our country, you understand? What in the grassroots could do now? And two man, I want to end. Do ya? Make people support with parliamentary and day. Because why are they say so? Imagine when honorable Mara is set in a parliament, he makes such a statement on Facebook page. They arrest them. They keep them in the CID. How much people them? How much journalists them? How much West House them talk them? How much? It's so far they. The non left firm is still not related to this guy. Honorable Tower, I do my want to not make you know say, that issue of Honorable Tower be the first in a parliament. Whether they marginalize and so now, now I want to tell you say, they don't pull Honorable Tower now, you see, they don't change, they don't can go right again in a parliament. The speaker not even allow one for talk now because it stands against corruption. And that issue where Honorable Tower be the first in a parliament concerning that child card, Juma. I want to investigate that matter. Day. Now, actually, the town had the sale cab uh, boss will be in the day, they're hiding now. It's going to start to see. It don't miss appropriate. The last government left sale cab in any boyant institution. Now, sale cab day in the mess. Sale cab they run on the deficit now. We're going investigate that issue. It's very sensitive. Now, big money then involved behind that tumor. So, as the corruption of whatever they pay the petty laptop, the other big issues then, the one for big anti corruption posture, make it wake up. Make it help the president, make it help the people of CMU. Because this is not about political party. It's about with people them lie. The poverty too much in the country, Juma. Let me search for with people them, please. So, do ya? Let me support the MP the way they stand. Let me stand against um, the corruption. Because then they punish them. Then they look how they unable to give out. They, they don't force and say, but in lack integrity, don't be. Why are you for them when they stand against the truth, Juma? So do you make we support the MPD? It's so good that when I don't create them that for me and for we. God bless you now. And I want for say, do you want to give the MPD? When I invite more of the MPD and them program here. Because they don't get a chance for talking to parliament that they fight to. And they can talk to the media. No, we well, to with people. Right, 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 we, 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 we appreciate that. And yeah. that's uh, Mr. Cheno Alpha Emba just talked just now. And we've created this platform. We don't get a few MPs that we don't come. Um, we had, um, which call caller, Martin Yuma was here. Is there another call? Okay, all right. So, uh, no okay, now. thank you. Thank you, Juma. So, we don't get Martin Yuma, we don't get um, Lahai Mara. And we still lay appeal for get more. And you self self, since you've been on the but, experience in the parliament, we will try to forget you now. So Lord can talk about some of the issues there. So it's very important. Mr. Bab, uh, it's continue a and just it's a pleasure. round up and then we'll round up the show. Yeah, I, <coughs> I think say we done already the what in this COVID drama, COVID report drama, the show. Mm -hmm. As as you rightly say that the letter where um the attorney general be right attempting for prevent the audit service from undertaking the audit, say no co cooperate, mm -hmm. okay? And we exposed that one day. Then this drama just showed the reason why the people are not the one making them do an audit. 
real-time audit of, of the coronavirus emergency funds because of this massive scale of mismanagement. Um, we, we offer to the Anti-Corruption Commission uh, still stand that we go right and at least last time we've been say we don't know, we must be able to talk about uh, we audit have been draft now this and that. So now the audit report don't come more. All we we may show you so we get anything wrong. There's nothing we got wrong. Mm -hmm. So we go write officially. We want for inform that our offer from the African Express that we willing for provide for free for free at our own expense. Experts we go help them assist in the uh, identification of real big time. Uh, corruption, you don't understand, as we've been saying last time, even this audit report, don't uh, look at this small, small, petty, petty thing. Look at the big thing that we just highlight now with debt can with debt and the UK, UK, way the finance ministry, uh, this cabal between JJ Safa and the others, and on how they, they uh, pay contractors and, and take kickbacks and all of those things. It ain't the report. We can, you know, you can add a starting point. At least now, and thing and be say, if evidence come on, we show graft. Now this evidence are in this now. Not to just no more from African so Express. Not to African Express and China about it. Yeah, not to no more. Not to we no more. I think we say we to whistle blow us. We don't able to talk about. Well, you don't see her now. The, this so how does this make you guys feel? Well, we don't feel any how different. We we we, so we 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 know say we work thorough. I mean, the African Express, with all with all humility, we are people highly trained. At, um, none of we know the in the African Express without at least a minimum of 15 years active participation in media work one way or the other. Some are researchers, academics, and other people. So we we know they just right because of anything. We have to have the evidence. People say we work with we know say we very thorough. Even when they give when we get evidence, we get for test them. We get for work we, we get for triangulator. Look various sides of them. Some some of we we work. Some of we. Associates and even can grow impatient with we because we we, we take with time. Right. We must take for deal with reputation, they get for deal with care and concern. Even this five billion, we we got for keep the information for for several weeks. Send send them and test them and ask against yourself. Look how they say. Um, I want for end by promise by also saying apart from just we offer to the ACC that in twenty twenty one. Uh, the in 2020, we, just, we try for sure say there is pervasive corruption in the Madabu administration before even the audit come out. The audit report don't validate that evidence we don't publish. And now we want to tell the people and say, in the new, in the new year, we will show the beneficiaries of this corruption, okay? How this corruption chain, the benefit, the higher uh, members of this current administration. And that means we will show for example, um, if they don't take money, go Gambia, who say they don't invest time, if they don't take money, go Lebanon, who say they don't invest time, if they don't take money, go. We're we ready for, for show that one day. That will be next project for this coming year. So, who still get that date? Because one announcer wants them. No, them so, no, no, we are serious. Like, how we start March 1? We will start okay. with, with the. So, who still get the first one? The first exclusive. The first, to come we will try for make sure before January done. We we'll make, we'll make these people then uh, enjoy them Christmas. Enjoy New Year. You know, you don't want to spoil people's Christmas and New Year. Uh -huh. like, although, although they're not, although the audit service are served in this uh, two audit report, they are waiting for calls. But actually, this is no joke. The real engagement with the with with Mother Abuse administration, because first we need for two people and say corruption day. Uh -huh. They be may present continuous tense anti corruption, comfort corruption, maybe inside administration. They say no, they say that a story with the pool. So now we don't see the corruption now. Live, live. They still argue, say that mistake, they mistake by the corruption. So <laughs> we, <laughs> we want to take this. I want to read the script to now. Martel, the plan of the African Express. Going to civil okay. society with the heart. In 2021, okay, we they show stage by stage some of this corruption. Who that they see so? Who say you don't go? Who say the country, there was some of the money they don't go. Internally and externally, they want to the benefit. We therefore extend the, the, the discussion to showing the process of corruption in property. Yeah, no, you know, what will they do basically? Will they take the, the, the new direction manifesto as the day? Eh? We show say this one will be promised. We are not, we are not the work with our only, we are not also the ransom the state. And that money then we will not the transfer from this account to that account today. We don't ready now for sure. And why make I say this? That one way just begin the cost inside them, inside them, inside that small, small. Text message that they send me. We are not saying 
Let me make know that say we not invent new type of. Uh, <laughs> of we are very determined. Anyway, these are not joke. We're very serious about this thing. I think the people. Oh, are the talk say oh, now they do surgical operation. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You know where where, where you get patient? This patient here, you tell and say you get some kind uh, intestinal disease. They argue. No, ah well, ah well. You get for force. You do a surgical force. Uh, some kind of operation open the the patient maybe you show on the sickness so we don't do that one then not this one for March one we will say payroll scandal we don't appoint and say oh no no no, no, no. we don't can't we don't end up sooner all team you don't understand it so now we will take a step further showing who side these proceeds of graft they go how much money come up from timber whether this money in a bank you know in a bank you know in this bank I will say they how much money from the uh, foreign travel taxes? Where the airline they say they pay? Where they say they not see them at the bank? Would they able to show side? Hey, it don't go so so side, don't go so so side. Mm -hmm. that one thing, the next thing. Basically, we they move from reporting graft in the administration to reporting uh, the beneficiaries of this graft, capital flights, and also um, uh, financial crimes of the administration, which you can call money laundering, this, this and this, including. Um, if money if we money don't go Gambia, who said the investor, who done the associates there and the business the everyday Indonesia, who said who's, who's under whose account name it is. So these are these are the things that that kind of job they want for do now, this 2021. So now they go take the bush. No, we just show no more here. Look at you, look at you. So tomorrow, if they want no address and tomorrow this that's why yeah, now so 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 money they will in case uh, for self. And you still una still ready for help anti corruption commission. Una, una. Yeah, but if if they really you don't go for somebody for help, if they really we 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 ready. But the fact of the, of the matter is that um the central message that we are determined to hold governments accountable. We are citizens of Sierra Leone. Yeah. Okay. Well, Even as, if we're as, long as, as long as we right have now. the exclusives, yeah. Yeah, you know, yeah, where yeah. you begin January so, one, you know, you're right here, you know, you have a platform, we will at yeah. least let like, us some of my colleagues then they watch we as we talk. I want to extend, let me say this in English to some of our friends who are who cannot speak Creole. We want to extend our appreciation um, to the great work um, that and time that our colleagues have invested in this in this uh, commitment to fighting for democracy in Africa. So I will be an example. Mm -hmm. And and it's impossible to do these things without a collective work, not to one, not to one uh person operation. No single individual can do this alone, and which is why I think Sarah Jem has to be commended and supported because um, the space is so narrow. For me, we get an alternative platform them of this nature, a very, a very crucial and important. Even in Parliament now, people are being arrested for speaking out. Parliamentarians, you can, I mean, you cannot imagine a society of that nature. So you move from stealing public money to also um, running this terroristic state. Where people do not have right to speak out and 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 then democratic basic civil liberties are threatened. That's a very serious situation. So, um, I think say on that note, we, we would like to extend our appreciation to the very great many Sierra Leoneans as well who are our allies and who've been assisting with this work. There's more work ahead, and we look very much excited with the kind of uh, uh, new period will come. We, we believe say dictators and. The only power we can get now, we tend to do so for insult, arrest, detain, you know, but they can they cannot last forever. Eh? We just get to be determined. This government, if they if they want for help themselves, make them address this corruption, arrest the people that were involved. But it's it difficult because it is not petty people who are stealing. This is it's coming from the higher, from the office of the president right down. That is what makes it difficult. So we just get for make sure say now this we, we, we reduce the amount of time with this kind of government get for taking us alone. Otherwise, the damage will be so irreparable that that meetings are the only solution. So when we talk about the solution, anti-corruption, arrest this, arrest this, what you see now is it's a cover-up. The anti-corruption will try to cover for this regime, you know. So the people of this part of this work have exposed this thing with the hope that people will understand that the future they have in hand in with them vote. We cannot allow a dictator. A corrupt dictator, a dictatorial regime for try for a very long time. If we do that, it will endanger our own lives. You know, they endanger the finance of the country, but even the lives and liberties of people. And this is what worries me. This is why I have become so resolute and committed to this kind of thing. Because as it is right now, if you day ten thousand miles away, people they send you threatening messages, and they threaten you. 
uh, especially now you cannot go to Sierra Leone without somebody seizing your passport at the border on the pretext that they are fighting an epidemic. That na, na, for tell you, na, is a police state. It is beyond the fact of how you control an epidemic where the thief, the money, where it in itself, uh, uh, they say go buy uh, a mutuka. You take the thing, you give to you, and associate a friend of, of, of the president where he does get the company. And now you are saying, in the name of an epidemic, they, anybody going to Sierra Leone now, they have to withhold your passport. That's like controlling. So, which means you people in Sierra Gem and myself, we got to think about, we got to think twice in terms of going to Sierra Leone now. It's a dictator. So, we have to, we have, to have a way of getting, of uh, helping to vote this kind of government out. Enough for day beyond one, one, one term. We should make no pretenses about it because. It's about our future, our rights, and, and, and our freedom. If you arrest an MP for speaking out in parliament, what do you go to ordinary people and journalists like we where they've exposed this kind of high class corruption? And Tibor already gets plans for go next week. Well, I wish him luck, make him, make him notify me so that when I arrest him at the border, we'll be able to uh, talk to international organizations for making them put pressure. Because these people, they're only they're afraid uh, international organizations. They, make, they say they don't care about Saloon. We MCC say they don't pass, they don't pass. Mm -hmm. so, <laughs> so now, we are team away they go make sure say we know so we go remain on the alert where they arrest you we go tell the relevant organizations i think these are no funny things okay if you don't yeah. come to a point where the finances of the country are endangered the lives of ordinary citizens uh, people who are speaking out about some of these violations are also endangered that is no joke it's a very serious it's a country at war against the democratic rights of citizens against the finance of, this, of the country and it's upon us as citizens People that we get the opportunity for speak out, we get these platforms, we're able to reach out for also used with skills, with expertise, and with resources for make sure say this kind of government, not tea, if it ain't a problem. Okay. Election is two years down the line. We have to ensure that whatever that should be done democratically to educate the people so that they can vote wisely, they can vote and understand that their lives depend on this. They have to do that. So that's a part of the responsibility. That's the only way out. Do not depend on anti-corruption to arrest lead way. If they do that, we will be very surprised. Do not depend on uh, this government for changing things. Because why me they say so? Because the, uh, the, the, the evidence of corruption and theft we me, we me they see on a daily basis and the amount of information we I get, I know say these people are irredeemable. Their only hope is to buy people as they've done. They've quietened people by threat of violence, by money, Peter's doing the give to people them. And those of us who have that evidence of corruption, we know say these people them, they not get no fear. In fact, that they, they not even imagine say this kind of information will come out right now. Now then now the greatest uh, torment the fact that that pretext they make now, that platform saying they fight corruption, now they don't greet them. Even when they're not showing them this corruption, they still argue saying a 2015 you na APC you're not carry. You understand? So, right. so uh, Mr. Barr, kind of people, you don't expect them to change anything. The only uh, way the people will have to change this situation by themselves by voting this government out. I know can, it's too can, early to can, say. Can, it, we the only solution. Can, can we have a date, second week or third week January? Because one for let people let know one time so we get prepared. Yeah, with the, with the, with the, with the I like how we say no more. Um, well, maybe we enjoy the Christmas first and New Year. We want for wish people a Merry Christmas and Happy New okay. Year. But um. Anything we promise here, we don't already deliver. Of course. Yeah. So we will continue for deliverer. Yeah. And 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 now we responsibility everybody for begin yourself uh, yeah. uh, take part in this conversation in different different with multiplier. Right. Okay. So people, thank you. That was um you know uh, Mr. Cherno Alpha Emba, um you know the editor for the African Express and a seasoned international journalist. Although some people don't tell, we say Mr. Ba and we platform, we're not qualified for talking about the issue. But what you are glad for, the very caller we get, the very possible we make the comments, we get opportunity in self make a call and make a contribution. And it's a self agree, say, now blatant error. So when you say something blatant, that means that by willful, you know, mm -hmm. not to by mistake, or not to mistake, not to mistake them, make them for make the mistake. This time I willful mistake. So, and um, the interesting thing where I see the COVID um, thing, one person make one comment. He said them mistake. So the person say let them misput back. there. Yeah. On our mistake, on our misput. <laughs> <laughs> but <laughs> boy, I'm, I'm bringing you in now. Uh, you don't hear you don't hear any calls. 
I, I felt passion today. I see Honorable Fofi call. <clears throat> he was like on fire. I've never had him that <laughs> passionate in public, you know. He go tell all my fine I do. He go talk my parliament, but we can a public. <laughs> so, all right, go ahead, T boy. Um, I think me it's not go tire for yeah, a lot of information we really collect, and me yeah, I not go tire for watch mm -hmm. and majority of the comments then we become the chat group. But mm -hmm. I'll just highlight one thing quick to um the chat group and possibly everybody has really listened to me. Yeah. Um, Mr. Chernoba represents a vast knowledge of people in various professional ethics in media, investigative media, auditing, and other elements of corrupt practices, not just in Sierra Leone, but West Africa and other parts of Africa. So mm -hmm. that's not just one thing we are make to understand first, because somebody they highlight say Mr. Bass study Africans, African studies. Well, mm -hmm. go back and research a little bit about African studies and see what it entails, because it gets a lot for doing it. Possibly every aspect of what you're discussing actually. But Tiboy, I, I can say equally. The no, chief, I think I answer that question. The, the, the chief minister of studies, peace and conflict studies. That is <laughs> Well, let me so, start back. Look, answer for myself. Right, answer. Right. Look, <laughs> answer. I think, say, yeah, this is the thing. Um, <laughs> you know, we get these SLPP people working things in the one green land book. <clears throat> or not them, because that's, that's where I want them to come up with that discussion publicly. But make I just say briefly, I hate for talk about myself. But people that way already know me history. I go to school, na McKinney, na they are born. I go to school, na St. Francis. The primary school force, a five years spent, I get two double promotion. Okay, I was spent seven years, then I one man tell people and I Then secondary school, I two years only I do, form one and form two, form two now I sit at O level, GC O level, privately. I pass to go for the college. Okay, what, by the time I go to college now, self, I don't already become an editor of, of a newspaper before I go to college. I was editing Concord Times so while I did me, my classmate, na Tawana, tawa na one of my classmates. He will tell you, say, by the time I had the college, in fact, I they go, I had the come America on a conference, I they, they travel all over, I go, we exam reach for go sit. Okay, so I study, I get a, my first degree now on his, history, sociology, and I get a diploma in African studies. Secondly, now for my bachelor's degree, I apply for doing a PhD. I not do master's, though. I, I get admission into a PhD program with a bachelor's degree. This is now after 10, 10 or 15, 10 years or more after I don't graduate. And then again, um, right now, I the study for being a historian. Throughout my life, I want to be a historian. That's what I choose to study. I can study anything where, 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 where I feel like. So you wait to go talk, stay, I study this, I study that. The fact of the matter is, I want to make it come forward and say, I'm illiterate, I don't go to school. So I don't tell you now, say, from Form 2, for go, I enter for college from form two, I don't sit down from three, I don't sit down from four, I don't sit down from five. And you can go check that record there. So, Fulama, make a talk at up ethnic. Fulama, if you want to know you, Omar goes school back, I don't want to cast a corner class. You know, that's actually why you don't sit on a class with me. <laughs> so, when people like you force somebody for talk for talk about this, so if you go, because I don't want to talk this, that's what Babadis have texted me this morning. He said, Come on, he said, he said you, study, you study peace and conflict studies. You know, okay, this is an African studies, then this yeah, is an African yeah. studies. I don't want to say African studies, then this and that. <laughs> you don't understand. Um, if if I check that one one person, you go friend with my own record, we sit down from, from come up from two seats for pass for go O level. Go self. And and my result back, I go read that to you. I get one in history, three in in English uh, literature, literature in English. Two in Bible, Bible knowledge, because then they do they do CRK, Christian religious knowledge, or Islamic studies. But because I go Catholic schools in my whole life, St. Francis Primary, St. Francis Secondary, so I do Christian, uh, I do Bible knowledge, I get two. So, so I, family, so, family, family, family. Family. <laughs> so then, uh, government three, okay, English language four. This is five uh, O level. So I get, you can go now, you can go now, and go back to St. Francis, my admission number is 8355. You check my record. I not ever can second. Why the primary school, secondary school, and the whole time why they now, why they school. Two years now. So me enter school, primary school and secondary school, now seven years. Five years primary school, two years secondary school. From there I go for Bay College. For Bay College, I spend five years there. 
and much of them again are not even if you ask the professor the way teach me they're not even they see me now because i've been i not become internationally engaged i was going all over the place england america different parts of the world giving conferences at other universities where i don't even get the grade because of my work you know you don't understand so by the time and i've and i'm a bachelor's degree again i get admission for doing a phd so what you are studying i'm a choice what are so what are they do so now team way anybody who know me 20 years ago my classmate them will tell you say this is how child noise is i don't ever deviate from what i want for do i deliberate about her okay so if you they argue if you want for talk say and study uh catering now I do me my phd on <laughs> okay then but, but if you're going to give construction no if you, no 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 but if you're not the one for talk about see that evidence of of say i don't get better sense i don't know what i talk about i don't know but i cannot understand the logic of that one day but this is the thing you get uh many people inside our government right now where they call themselves doctors and professors where they're not qualified they're not getting qualification at least me you go check me at the academy i did it at least okay my university backward you go check i'm back i believe but people will force you for talk about you say well even you don't want to you don't want to do that but i i decide to do that now because two or three people inside this government they're going to message me about you study african study you study peace and conflict you study this i don't know the meaning of that whether that means say the guest sense passed me or, or the land book passed me i don't even understand that but you only read this from SLPP people, and I will tell you, I get two master's degree, I get three master's degree, I mean, a double master's. You don't need, you don't even need three master's degree because one master's is as good as three. Exactly. Okay, you, you don't need double yeah, PhD because one PhD is the same as uh, two PhD, ten PhD is the same as having one. Yeah. Okay, but uh, the people enjoy the way they force to call themselves doctor and professor when they are not professors, they are not doctor. Okay, so they feel say that this title they had will say, but if na credentials na one for present, na show me which credential will I get. We may not get the very university when I go for college that there I go. And besides, I don't go back now that school when I don't ever go there. So I don't need to talk about those ones. So the point, the, the, you know, material, the fact of the matter is, you know, go, you know, go write English, ABCD, pass me, oh, that are the other thing that I did. So, but this, this is this is who I am. Um, I deliberate for anything what they do. I choose my career, I choose my life, I decide for what I do. I, I, I don't know if you answer the question. I see that comment as skip and but T-boy can be deliberate. No, no, you could not make that comment today. They don't, yeah. they, they don't message me about that. You could do your reason. Yeah. No, you um, see, the reason why I make sometimes you have to be deliberate with some of these things, like a way they highlight, many people question some of our credibility, some of our potential, yeah. some of as our yeah. abilities in what we're doing. Like you clearly say, this is not your dream since you start, since yeah. you're born. Yeah. And me, I will guarantee anybody really watch me say, if you know me and you know possibly any one of we team members, you can know how much passion we have for what we do and how much knowledge we have in what we do. And but I say, I yeah, I make I make a I make I tell people, I say, um, <laughs> Timo, Femi, Juma combine about 130 years experience in what we do so. No, but they don't understand that concept. No, they don't know, they don't know, when, when, they don't know how far you don't come up. And we say, and we say, you for me to tell you, see, we on, people that they choose their own career path and what do they want for do based yeah. on their own interest. Okay, nobody, um, nobody, no go. If I decide for be a doctor, a medical doctor, that's my passion, I will have become one because. The same ABC where you read them and two times three where you will serve. Now the same thing, now the same school that we go. Okay, like I said, I repeat. You go fend from primary school to secondary school. Me seven years were taking a school. Five years primary, two years secondary school. And no ever come second. My classmate then they one of them. In fact, I go for Obey College. In fact, I want to one person who I meet now. Now we sit on the same. You go tell you, say, I've not been to get a book. I never held it, even a notebook while they Obey College for taking note. Why? Because I've been, I decide for, this is one of the reasons we make I decide to say with all dental and there, I have to go to Fulbright College, not because I, I, I wanted to, or mm -hmm. the only option where I've been getting at the time, but now some of them here, and then people actually look at this, but come on, they in all handbook. You cannot say that to me. Okay. Um, I enter a PhD program with, with my first degree. I, I enter Fulbright College from, from two. You can hardly, if you get 10 people, 
the saloon right now, 20, I don't think they could find up to 10 people with that kind of record. And this is available. People that know, we know me, they know that one, they are from two, I come over, I go for one, six, O level. I take and this is this, this. You know, Mr. Bad, I just want to test one to say, full of man in full one, no, the, you know, no, I don't want to make a technique. No, you say make a say that. I that as a joke because I don't think. Yeah, no, me, 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 small brother, <laughs> you know, I will be proud for say that. Now, three years I spent at primary school. Where is here? Three years I spent at primary, yeah, primary school. Because, yeah. because we don't learn Quran before they can't ask you. We don't know, like, like, we don't we don't memorize it. We don't have al Fatiha. We don't read the Quran all. They don't yeah. yeah. come to that school. They go say, this is the last mommy did I hear. They go set barrier for beat people. Them say. Yeah. But anyway, that they all like we say, not important. It's just that way if they come up often, they find way you clarify. Then we find any kind of way say, then one, then one yeah. is you can already call me with education. Yeah, yeah. Same, same certificate way if you say and, that. And you are published and, author as well. You, you, are, you are published author, not No, no I know I'm good to write them because I, these are the things. I, I my greatest thing I for contribute to my society. So if I if I know they are alive, self so make me name left. I know I make me pick you wake up tomorrow, I begin to think about what my papa be there. What my papa be they think about how my papa in thinking me. That's why I write. Right. Because you're not gonna lie against me, against what I believe in. I write books. I write in newspapers actively, even as I engage in other research, and I do this as my own passion because I want my child to grow up and take up, a go work in a library, take a book, he sits in a this house, he read, he read what I've been believing. If he decide to do other things now, which are not even thing, but this is who I am in black and white. Right. So, 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 now that. And, but these people will bring any kind of trivial thing against you. Yeah. And I, you know, thank you so much. We appreciate that. Uh, See, boy, go ahead uh, with you closing and. Um, okay. Yeah, um, the closing is long, is long, is long awaiting. Tell and me the talk. Mr. Bakaya so can all and pass the term where we bargain for. Let me say the talk. Yes. Okay. Let me the talk. Sorry, make me closing short. Okay. <laughs> okay. But I make a long, but still tell me the talk. I make a short. But anyway, um, on a very serious note, we've listened and heard everybody's comments and everybody's suggestion. We don't hear Mr. Bar. This is not the first time. This is not the second time. And we're possibly going to have him here on a regular basis. And we get few things that we, we get as we mantra. We na na continuous thing that we need to just stop. And for reinforce that, na the fact say we have station post guests. We certain issues then they will need to ask no questions that they will call, and they are ready to come up on our platform and discuss the entity. But um, Juma, I raised few things they were free to see before. Seriously think about one is we possibly need to set up a consultancy firm in Sierra Leone for good business practices and break down the business law. Why you go set up a passport that all sees a passport? I don't go this week. You stay in Lomo. What's the problem, man? You don't know what your business. I don't use Mr. Bain's slogan for you. Fula man, they all know full about you. Go begin, I go begin to. <laughs> all right. <laughs> but yeah, um, the reason why I make a highlight is not necessarily means say we have to do it, but I think we need to <clears throat> get the business practices to be actually what distributed to people who are interested in doing businesses in Sierra Leone, so they know exactly what the models of practice. Because sometimes we jump into some of these things, we don't know what's the models of practice, and we got for being the position where we we know what the laws are, we know. Where the oh, I, I like to bust your bubble right there. If the constitution, yes. the act, the law, yes. like it, they said a mistake. Who's kind consultants you go set up? Where they go, we go make them know the law better than with the law where mm. the people where they write their law. They said uh, <laughs> again, it brings me to the next thing we you don't know, highlight. We it's on table one for ignorant, the lawyers in Sierra Leone threaten us a lot. I am a lawyer. What does that mean? Does it mean you are educated than me? Does it mean you know more than me? Does it mean you can interpret the law more than me? Because the law of every country depends on the interpretation of that law in court. You might have a different interpretation. I have a different interpretation. It's how we can convince that judge or whoever is deciding us. Hey, Juma. Juma, I didn't allow me like I finished, but what's now you from? Why are you so excited today? Go ahead. <laughs> yeah, but anyway, until Juma stopped for the 
and bug me since I agree before wrap up quick. <clears throat> but that just cuts and shots. The law is something that we need to look into, and then we have to really interpret it in terms of business practices. Because we did ask friends that we did so a lot, and most of we intend for go back home and invest, but we are not even sure about the laws of investment in civil union. We don't have any guarantor to say if you go salon, these practices are what you should be abided by. And if you break them, these are the consequences. Because we all know what are the laws of practicing business in Europe. Where you come, you register your business, you declare which sort of business you do, you declare if not a product, you sell what type of product you're selling, and the amount of tax will be levied on you based on your product or based on the content or based on what your business practices. So I don't know whether it's the same in civil but I think we can begin to understand whether that's the same so we'll be able to follow suit because we cannot be copying stuff from European countries and we need to apply and we'll go back to salon. That goes to even the diaspora, the way they go to salon for go practice because sometimes they fail to adhere to the normal practices of the diasporans and when they get to Sierra Leone, they change their models of practice. But I always don't complain when I begin here, you bought salon and billions and billions and billions to say Sierra Leone have money. My own issue with that is the fact that we have so much billions where parliaments they pass the bill say yes, this for be the budget for run Sierra Leone. How comes we need to be able to utilize that particular budget day for run majority of women is against them. Because this not mix from the money with until we get from international donors or from any other coffers with until we can for can help we and support we economy. But I think I'm not hundred percent sure this money where the parliament the endorse for the Ministry of Finance where they make out them budget for the year for running the ministries in Sierra Leone, I think it come off, it come off from the Sierra Leone coffers, i.e the Bank of Sierra Leone. I don't know whether it involves any other foreign investment or any other foreign aid, but they call them the Consolidated Fund. Basically, it means the fund that belongs to the Sierra Leone government. Yeah, yeah. And that fund, no limits to anything but billions and trillions of leons. Mm -hmm. If we cannot manage our own Consolidated Fund properly, how can we manage foreign support fund? Which brings me to the question of saying, my opinion, is it safe for foreigners to, or foreign aid to really come into Sierra Leone when we have such fund to run our economy or to run our ministries or to run our industries? Because it means if the government don't budget, say we need 30 billion, for example, for run Ministry of Agriculture, it means that money will be able to pay staffs and run possibly all other projects, mm -hmm. apart from side projects that possibly have nothing to do with the government budget for that particular ministry. So I am saying, my opinion, is it safe to actually seek for extra funding outside of our consolidated fund when we cannot manage our consolidated fund ourselves? Mm -hmm. Because the reason we would cry corruption, corruption, corruption is because we have so much funds in abundance that we're not able to manage them properly. And then when they put more on top of them, it gives me the non-opportunity way, possibly some of we the wait for our life for grab. Right. When are the facts say every individual in Sierra Leone wants to be a politician? Some are there for the good reasons, some are there to serve, and some are there to serve themselves. Because I really don't see any successful individual in the diaspora that is willing to go back home to Sierra Leone, for example, and serve, except if he wants to serve himself. Because any successful diaspora will choose for going to salon, it's either he's ready to invest his time, his money, his resources, and his energy to make sure that he invests properly within his community. And if you want to serve as a parliamentarian or as any part in, the, in, 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 in governance, 
I think finance should be your minimal expectation. Right. Because you know, say very clearly, your government not able oh, for pay you. Boy, T boy, just I'm not. I know it's careful caught you. Okay, I'm sorry. It has nothing to do with finance. Now most, of, say. Yeah, most of the people, most of the people that where they had their institutions here, yeah, where the audit reports capture, these people are paid on imaginable salaries. Okay. And some of them, I'll tell you this, possibly the, the audit report not capture. Apart from the salary where they pay, pay them, there are special projects for consultants. Okay? Special projects for consultants, like the Ministry of Finance. You know, all their aid money, them, where they forget special consultants. These people, then they serve as consultants. So then they still get a consultant salary where they come with that. So they get government from the consolidated fund, and then they get foreign for that consultancy. So they double dip into everything so it's not like they're not paid enough you know so going into politics going to serve uh, 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 public service you still get paid enough you do not need to steal to live well and do well and serve you people and serve your conscience why didn't you take that contract on many occasions where they tell you, say, this is not 50 copies, but only uh, produce one copy or five copies, so we'll show, I call them, this uh, 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 we'll send and this is not state house, this is why we send them to the donor agencies. There. So the donor agencies, they don't, they, they max it and give 50. So if you want to tell me that now, what make you not take that? Well, like I say, everybody gets a different um, 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 mindset. So we are mindset, not skin for that. We were not brought up in an environment no, where no. we... we, we my take, point, I don't want us to discourage people that mean well that wants to go. No, home. that's not the point. My point is, if you're ready to go back home and serve, salary should be the least of your concern. Let's say you're paid well, that's fine. But the reason why I'm saying salary should be the least of your concern now because they're not able to pay you the actual matching rate of what you need to pay you already in London. See, boy, that is not true. Or, that's or, my, or America. That's exactly my point. No, let's that's move that. Let's move that away because we don't have to make that be the cash twenty-two for make you go because most no, of they convinced you. See, boy, my point, my advocacy is I do not have a problem if people are paid well. You understand? Then can pay you low, say, then come the head haunt you. You are making fifty, sixty, a hundred thousand dollars. And then you go to Sierra Leone, they say we're gonna double that or we'll pay you um fifty percent more. So you'll pay you hundred and fifty thousand dollars. As long as you deliver, but you get paid all those salaries, you get all the other benefits, you spend less in the country, you understand? Una they spend three point six billion leons on top up in the Ministry of Finance. But then you steal the thief back. Then you say back, you know, they do your job well. You say now mistake, you mistake, you deprive the people of 5.5 billion. Go ahead, T-Boy, sorry. No, Juma, I have a problem. No, I'm sorry. No, I have a problem. I have a problem. Because you know, like I was saying, I the the issue that the commander you bring as I talk, right? Yeah. Uh, okay. <laughs> okay, my viewers, I rest my case. Juma has said it all, and I don't want to go on and on and on and on and on. But rest assured, the platform that we have is open, and it's okay. open to all. Like, uh, um, when I don't come and say, we want, it one for look, we invite MPs and this platform. We started doing that, like, since day one, when we start to initiate a political platform on our platform, Sarah J Media. And I think, say, if we platform not being open, there are so many messages, so many comments, so many mixed and match of everybody that have the right to talk and log on and come on our platform. Yeah. The only thing only they accept now platform, now abuse, yeah. either yeah. verbal to we chat people they wouldn't have the chat, or to be guests okay. yeah. or so even we were the seats as host yeah. because we know they encourage abuse of any sort on our platform but everything else go yeah. you can abuse the issue you chastise the issue you comment on the issue you lament the issue but we don't attack none of the individuals that are logging onto our platform 
signing on to our platform or chatting on our platform. Well, everybody have the freedom to say their opinion because yeah. we have an opinionative based discussion. Right. Nothing is wrong with that. Your opinion is your opinion. As long as you can defend it, you can challenge anybody else's opinion and you have a reason to challenge that opinion is normal. So uh, for as far as we're concerned, we have an open- Everybody's platform. welcome. Everybody, everybody's welcome. From wherever you think you're from, you're welcome. When we send you the link, log on. Right. If you think what we are doing is not what you want to hear, you're free to go. But yeah. you are free to come on at any time. The only reason why we will block you or we cut you off on that particular day, if you right. said <laughs> anything abusive, I will give you a warning shot. Apparently, I have been cut off social media because Facebook still not able for giving me accounting. Now, two months they cancel Juma. We need for send a special appeal. Otherwise, Facebook will be taken to court. If they don't block you account, my passport, they know it's not your passport. Anyway, I'll go to family. Talk about my passport. Anyway, I am going to Freetown. Mr. Ba, rest assured, I will go to Freetown and come back. Definitely, I will be leaving for Freetown soon. Freetown here yeah. from. That's my okay. end point. Juma, over to you. All right, thank you. you uh, can it. Why are you going to say the I'll go to Femi. Uh, Mr. Palmer, quickly, you. Go ahead, sir. Okay. Now, do you hear me? Yeah, we hear you loud and clear. Loud and clear? Yes. Okay, guys. And I hope so. You would hear me on Facebook as well. Yes. So, this is Naboku Boku Tok. Now, I don't depend on you. Really and truly, I must say thank you to Cheno for where he can again can share with the audience all in knowledge. This is a knowledgeable man. I know you know the the I've been know some of the qualification that we get, but today you know, <laughs> you know it go from it go university from from soon. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> you know that's all I gotta say. But you know, um, I would like to touch on a few things um, we didn't talk about today. Um, being corruption in Sierra Leone. We get some people them um, where they actually they see corruption or they this not lie, this not to lie. Me and those guns get them come out to because for more we small, for more we small, we don't they see them. The bad thing is in Sierra Leone, people not even hide with the native, you know. And I'm not going to say them for hide. Though. All I'm saying is they do it blatantly, they don't care about the rule of law because some of them no say they're connected right to the top. Of the the um, people that we they make the laws, people that we supposed for be with leader, then we for lead we um rightfully the individual. Right now, I do on holiday. Now I make some of my audio and my technology not they work as much as it can. They work work in the London. I do only they are come in another Afri African country. You know, we then can they talk about we um Salomon we talk about that African countries. We always talk about Nigeria. We always talk about Ghana. We always talk about South Africa. You'll be amazed. I don't call the country where I come, but you'll be amazed at some of the things we don't see. Um, Selene, we get a really long, long way for go. And if we see them, say people and they mismanage the car money they would really say they, they mismanage and put it inside their own pockets them or inside their own private bank accounts them and not develop the country. Shame on them and shame on we we supposedly know better and they condone that they would. Really Arguments two three days ago after this report come out with one me party. He did tell me say I mistake this and then they talk it they support the the current um the current administration. Now I remind us not forget say last year we were to meet up now at Akio. Last December like this we meet up now at Akio. They can't talk the way talk yonder, but how the country corrupt. I remind them I not forget so I ain't able to talk again money and they're getting away with it because sometimes we judiciary not strong enough sometimes we anti-corruption not strong enough we leaders they know they lead by example you know the thief they begin from small small picking in that tweet say the big man them then say but them but would follow up with people away don't go thief petiting them you know don't go thief eat because they don't get it they don't go thief after 15 in television you know they say that it's so right but then you get big man the way they see five billion. They will slow the watch. And we, some of we, they actually condone them. Shame on some of we, civilians. We have to move on. If we want to make a country better, for we picking them, we get for land, for move on. 
all them people are so responsible. Somebody call or somebody, I don't remember by the chat, it talks, say that five point something billion. Mistake, no mistake. Then they, if they change the law, they not change the law. They owe with that money. They, we forgot not that money. They make them pay that money they back because the law they, 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 they operate on was illegal. Well, the, the way they, they operate was illegal to the law we've been there at the time when they operate. And at the time when they operate, states say they owe that five billion. They elect them change the law still before go demand that money be back. All right, so now that they end up, you see, Femi can just cut and short. All right, Femi, thank you so much. And like what you say, I think a lawyer, Ibrahim Sori, been called and say, you know, we are owed 5.5 billion United States dollars by Leadway and the government of Sierra Leone by extension because now then supervise, you know, an illegal operation we deprive the people of Sierra Leone 5.5 billion. Um, here, like where everyone say now platform, we want to say thank you, thank you so much to Channel Bar African Express for even getting, you know, because remember the first time they were approaching for camp, he asked we questions them, you know, it, I know say go and research, you know, and see, say, okay, well, there were also not so possibly people away, you will just ban. And our, com you know, our relationship, our conversation has been very professional. We talk about um, issues we relate to Sierra Leone and we for better we all. Um, thief, if you say the previous person made a thief bad, then you, you, can, you can't thief pass them. You say in a being drainage, you get what you call a leakage, then you can't open uh, uh, floodgates. Hey, it's that problem, oh. serious, serious problem. My appeal, please, 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 when I left that woman, suffer, Mrs. Lara Taylor Pierce. Done the audit, not to SLPP government, no more, don't be the audits. It don't audit audits APC government then for a good number of years, and people be the celebrator. And the audit reports at that time is what you people used for the GTT report verbatim. You use them as your basis, you use them for set up commission of inquiry, and Nada report they on give the commission as them. So if this same woman they do in work, when I left that young lady, let it breathe so full. Leave her alone, stop intimidating or coercing her. She's a Sierra Leonean, she's a professional. Let we learn for respect people and for let them do their job them. If you hound them, no means say people no go talk about corruption. Before audit service reports, chair no bar, been don't get African express, been don't get their own scoop. They don't get information months and months and months. So if una pull like a tailor pierce day, if una think so, if una able to pull and that means say people no go talk. The chair no bars, or if una say African express no go talk, there's gonna be other people that will talk about this. Standard Times has been talking about corruption since time in memorial. So I want for long to understand what we need to do. You should not be upset. If you mean well for Sierra Leone, when issues are raised, call the people, come on, how can we work best together to solve this problem? It should not be government against the people. It should be government with the people because you are for the people, by the people. That's what it's supposed to be. So left for intimidate people. We all agree say corruption is real. No say you own corruption, get forget cover close, then the other person you own, no forget cover close. Our president, even let's say Lara Telopias wrong, the auditor people they make mistake, Chernobyl, now because of you know, like Mada Bio I make. But our president, President Mada Bio on Al Jazeera international platform agreed that their corruption is endemic in Sierra Leone, and it includes insef self they say, insef corrupt, or it don't participate in corruption. So if we say that they hold me for that, well, I'm good, because if we say that not to like the state house CCTV, this time Jazeera, I did a public record, a cable portrait can say, I referenced Al Jazeera, our president said this, not Juma, I referenced him. So let me left, we tone down, left for intimidate people. That is all I will say. We'll continue to talk. If you have opposing view,
contact us. We'll give you an opportunity to express yourself. This is everybody's platform. Like I've been seeing about Malcolm Taylor, they say, you know, na bias business. So, but please, we want to let you come. We're going to let you say, you can tell me about, you know, the new direction. What's, what are we saying that is not uh, documented? Because yeah, we need to talk anything. We are not documented. We are measured in what we are saying because we mean well for Sierra Leone. Our intention is not to blackmail Sierra Leone, but to make sure we save Sierra Leone. Sierra Gem Media is for all of us. I want to say thank you once more to uh, Mr. Cherno Ba for coming. And to you, the viewers, we appreciate you now very much. And we want to say, please, 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 COVID respect the covid guidelines wherever you find yourself now the wall it's real it's ravaging our communities our people and close to home people and they die even if you are in sierra leone you are not safe so please and i wish you now on behalf of the platform say merry christmas to you all and we hope for see you now on tuesday we will not get holiday and we get date with uh Chernoba next month god willing you you. yeah Sometimes I might propose a Christmas Day show for we guests there, for the Christmas You message. see how generous T-Boy is? <laughs> we might have a Christmas Day show depending on how things they become. Not all man will go to their family and celebrate. Yes. Possibly. We so might that's specifically not for, for people. Yeah, yo. yeah so Zoom. Merry man. Christmas to their loved ones so we can share the platform and then celebrate. Right. Yeah. Okay, it's possible. So look out. All right. Thank you so very much. And we love you all. Stay blessed. And... Uh, Keep Sierra Leone safe. All right, if let me say one for wish people a Merry Christmas. Go ahead, Mr. Pama. Can you hear me, Juma? Yes, go ahead. Go ahead. Okay, so I'd like to wish all of our followers a Merry Christmas. Um, I forget for the day before. You know, with the pray say we are all safe. I think you see, happy Christmas, me not die. We still get a few hours to go, a few days um, in some cases. Um, and we look forward to a prosperous new year. For we, we families them, Una, we guests them, Sierra Leone, we country, and Sierra Leoneans around the world, we community. We the wish on a Merry Christmas. We hope so now go join me after the Christmas on pass. When City Boy say we'll do a Christmas show, now I want to know so I get for go produce and but more the watch and see no more. But um yeah, so we might be back on Christmas Day. But for me and my family, I would like to wish all of our supporters, all of the people we don't kind of platform this year, including Mr. Cheno Bar, we don't make a lot laugh to the day. And learn so much today and vex today back. You don't do and, and make sure say so you not compete with our way come to the Bible, okay? Okay. <laughs> anyway, so um at the campus now back on to Juma. But I'd really love you guys to have a wonderful time. And we hope to see some of we una we will pull in a waist and I do we not pull on a Christmas phone now. Right. They say call them, now they bring flower, but we'll not call them, we'll just talk about the billion billion there because they say this is not government of billions. Oh my goodness. I know be no, some of the figures are not Sabiri, but that's uh, all I have to say. But I don't know. Do you have anything that you want to say? Or you... No, no, I think we don't say everything now. Um, okay. We just go wish Christmas and Happy New Year to everybody. Wonderful. Thank you so much. Until then, we say ta ta. Yes, this is not time for all salon people and then party them. Sierra Gem Media will be bringing you a variety of programs ranging from documentaries to discussions, interviews, news, views, sports and entertainment. Our programs will contain matters on development, governance, the economy and issues that are of importance to Sierra Leone. 
So, no left BNO because we get BBB program then like salon discussion, meets the ministers, the president's hour and the gladi gladi program. Look me, I look you. All this, they start soon na www.sarajemmedia.org. Na who's term this? Talk about burning issues ranging from politics to the economy, culture to sport, education to entertainment, corruption to the environment. We realize the Sierra Leone story is far from finished. So, Sierra Gem Media Production brings you Zoom. Zooming in is the program that engages everyday people, entrepreneurs, inventors, entertainers activists, policymakers, and politicians to discuss and debate issues relating to Sierra Leone. Zooming in digs deep into the issues and stories. Zooming in ensures the debate is pushed to another level. Zooming in asks those questions that has never been asked before. So, join us host Chumaba. I was raped multiple times by my aunt's boyfriend when I was six. I was repeatedly raped at the age of eight by a close family member. 